at all that! I got all these, like, different files and stuff. Uh, let's just erase, erase one of them. 143? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, am I all set? I'm not forgetting anything, am I? No, I think we're good. Yo, does my up button not work? <laughs> Why does my up button not work? Hold up. Yo, can I, can I have an up button, please? Are we good now? <laughs> Why does it only go down? No, I don't want to play two players. <laughs> no! I don't want this at all. Yo, aim for smash, what? Oddworld aim? Hmm. I don't, I don't think I can play the game without the up button. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Why is my up button not working? What is happening? I don't understand. Oh no, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, you're right, we need him. Now nobody's saying, uh, it was a blend of steampunk, XCOM gameplay, literary figures, and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> that is very silly. Okay, wait, no, 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 my up button's working again. Okay, maybe it was just like a hiccup. Oh, no, I can, I can only go down again. Why is that? Why can I only go down on that screen? That is very weird. Alright, alright, I'll just not press down on that screen, and I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure everything will be fine. I have no idea why this is so weird. I've never had this problem before. Thanks, random question, have you ever played Donkey Kong Country 3? How is that a question you're asking me? I don't understand. I don't understand. That's not a real question. I've kidnapped that lumber and fooled Donkey Kong and you will never see him again. Har, 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 har. Yeah, yeah. How? It's a question because I'm asking you if you've ever played... I don't understand the question, Catrolius. I don't understand the question. How would you not know if I've played Donkey Kong Country 3 or not? Doesn't make sense to me. Alright. Get out of here, you crocodiles. I mean, Vinks claims to be a master of puzzles and then proves it wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? When did I prove to be not good at puzzles? I, I don't remember ever doing that. I remember being the best at puzzles. Like to see Dixie and Smash though? That would be really cool, but I doubt it. Like, I was, I was feeling like it was a possibility, but as soon as K. Roll was announced and they didn't announce Dixie Kong at the same time, I was like, nah. It's not gonna happen, dude. Because that's what all the leaks were saying. They're like, yeah, the Ponytail and King character are going to be announced uh, in the next, uh, on the next uh, Smash Direct. No, I don't want to play bonus minigames. Why am I going over here? No bonus minigames for me. But yeah, nah, those leaks were completely fake. Controller says, I've never seen you run DKC3. I've seen Hippo and Grandma and Legend, but I've never seen you. So for the third time, have you ever played Donkey Kong Country 3? Alright, let me let me think about this. Alright, so. Um, that's that's the game with uh with Kitty Kong, right? Dixie's cousin. And you know, Funky Kong's there, he introduces you to Kitty Kong. And like you, uh, let's see, what, what's the first boss? It's that, that barrel, right? And then, then there's a spider, and then like, you know, you fight the spider, you upgrade the boat, and then there's like, I don't know, there's all sorts of crazy things that go on. There's this whole robot that's being controlled by Donkey Kong! It's crazy, man. Well, it's not crazy, his name's Chaos. That game? Nah, I'm sure I've never played that. Never. Never played it. I've never raced. Uh, King Hippo in that game. I've never raced Grand Magusta. Um, I haven't raced Legend, because I don't think Legend ever played the game when I played it. I mean, I've, I've clearly never played it. Never. How would I ever have done a race of DKC2 and DKC3? Impossible! Oh! <laughs> He's OP. He raced us in that game? Et to Grand Magusta, you're fired. You have to leave. You have to.
to leave, Grandma. You can't say things like that. <laughs> no. Fired. <laughs> and no, I will not accept an apology. It's too late, Grand Magusta. You've burned me. I don't I don't want to go back to that. I deserve better, Grandma. I deserve better than you. <laughs> I could I could say it without being smart? No. No, I don't think I can. Would I really be me? Would I really be me? I mean, like, I could have been like, Oh, yes, I, um, excuse me, Mr. Petroleus, that, that is something that I did do. I could do that, or I could stretch it into a much longer, unnecessary thing, which I think is much more fun. There we go. Uh, Grand Magusa says, Did you really raise Hippo? Because I thought he went in... Did X2 after he finished DKC2? <sighs> oh wait, he did that after game over on Bleak, I think. Now I remember. Do you remember? It sounds like you're like combining multiple races in your head there, Mr. Grandma. Cause there was there is no X2. There is no X2 that night. Not not for Hippo. He was uh He's a very sad hippo. I don't know why he gave up. He totally, he totally could have beat me. The music? Yeah, the music's godlike, man. So good. But hey, man, if someone wants the game over on Bleak, because they refuse to save, I'll go ahead and beat them in the race. I'll, I'll take a free win. The trolley says, I don't recall Vinx in that race. I remember King Hippo getting salty and playing X3, but I don't recall Vinx. That's all wrong! Everything, I don't mean to like, be the last Jedi in here, but everything you just said was wrong. <laughs> One, he didn't play X3 after the last race that was done. That was X2. And then also, that was a completely different race. I wasn't in that one. I was in a different race where we raced. Uh, does no one remember the 12 hour challenge? The 12 hour challenge is where you take 12 hours to learn how to speedrun a game. And for like a year, a year, maybe I guess it's I'm all caught up in my own stream culture, I guess. But for a year, it feels like. We were pretty much all planned on learning DK, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, and we were gonna race it together. That was the plan. And then, we did that, you know? We did, uh, like, I spent like a good two days learning Donkey Kong Country 2, and I mostly just played through the game versus King Hippo, who was, uh, he was definitely running through the game, right? Like he, or not running through the game, he was like learning those levels, man. Wait, no, that's a bonus mini game. I don't want that. But yeah, he spent a lot of time learning specific tricks. So he can definitely do stages way faster than I could, but I guess I was just better at the overall game, though. So I took the race over him. I think it was like Grandma, I think, came in first. Uh, yeah, Grandma came in first. Um, I think Super Sin Slayer, who was like an unofficial part of the race because he wasn't streaming, he came in second place. I think. I think Doomsday was in the race? I don't remember where he placed. So I either beat him or I came right after him. And then we did Donkey Kong Country 3 afterwards. So it was like a two-parter race. Okay, I don't know how that didn't hit. But uh, yeah, it was a two-parter race. And so like I had a huge, I had a nice, you know, head start over King Hippo because of DKC2. But uh, he definitely still got past me. Then he game over at Bleak, so it was a free DKC3 win. We take those. Yeah, no, the DKC3 race took place right after the DKC2 one. It was the same day. And I had played DKC3 a few times in the past, before that. Like, um, Deshaun? Uh, or, uh, D-Train, I mean, he was here. Oh gosh darn it, I'm so bad. 
Yeah, and we played, uh, we went for the co-op world record. Ha 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 ha. You know, just like we did in, um, what's the game? Uh, Mega Man 2.5D? We're like, yeah, let's just go get the co-op world record. And we played the game together all the way through. I think we got, like, I think we beat the game around four or five hours. I can't remember. It was pretty long. And I did a couple of speedruns after that, and I think the fastest one I did was three hours. No, 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 that's right. I got, I got just under sub two. And that's before the DKC2 race, when that all took place. So, I've done multiple runs of Donkey Kong Country 3. It's never been my main game. None of the Donkey Kong games ever have been. But uh, I've done multiple runs of 3. It's a good game. I know a lot of people can be a little iffy on DKC3, but I like it. I mean, I prefer DKC2. I think DKC2 is the best Donkey Kong Country game. I don't think it's really debatable. It was the last time you saw me touch DKC3? Yeah, no, I haven't really played it since then. Uh, Controlly says I need- uh oh, that's a- that's an alligator guy. Wait, isn't there like a barrel up there? No, I can't get up there. But let's see, um, he was saying, I need to find a race Finks is bad at or has never played so I can challenge him without a handicap. Oh, that's not the crocs that like spring up. Those are the brown ones. I was, I was moving as if he was going to spring me upwards. <laughs> but, uh, yo, if you want to race me in something that I wouldn't be good at, um, race me in a game I've never played before. <laughs> uh, DKC3 wouldn't be one of those. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd still do pretty bad, but... If I were to race in DKC3, like, literally right now, I'm sure I could get sub 230. But I don't think I'd get sub 2 anymore. I, I'm way too rusty. I don't remember how anything works. No, sir. Ouch. You can't get up there? That's why there's a chest? Yeah, I can get up there, but you have to do the... Uh, partner toss, right? And I didn't have a partner at the time, so I couldn't do it. I was only Diddy. But yeah, that's fine. I, I don't want that chest anyways. I don't remember what's in it. Probably like an extra life, but I'm kind of good. No, no, no. It's a cannonball, isn't it? I think it's a cannonball. There's a cannon somewhere, perhaps. Yo, Claptrap in Smash? Yes, he is in Smash. So cool, man. Nice to see the Kremlings coming back. I mean, they, there were a couple of them in a uh, Smash Tour, or not Smash Tour, uh, Smash Run, was it called? On the uh, 3DS? I appreciated that. <laughs> you haven't played DKC3 since the 90s? Oh man. Yo, there's a, uh, if it's like an older game, there's a pretty good chance I've played it within like the past 10 years. I like, I like my old games, man. I play a lot of them. It'd be a lot easier to find a modern game that I have not played to race me in. I mean, it's definitely been a while, but like, I've even played like, say, Earthworm Jim, you know? I play, I play a lot of old school games. They're my favorites. Yo, Bomberman 64, I haven't played in a minute. <laughs> but I'm guessing you've probably never played that either. Grand Magoose is saying, I really like the Kremlings. Didn't get into the newer country games because of them missing. Eh, that's fair enough. Yeah, for me, like, um, it was weird. The Kremlings, you know, weren't the enemies anymore. But, uh, for me, I more didn't get into the games. Just because I had been playing a lot of platformers at the time. And I was just kind of spent on them. Too many new Super Mario Brothers games, they just kind of put me off. Like, new Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers Wii, new Super Mario Brothers 2, new Super Mario Brothers U. And then, you know, you got the Donkey Kong Country thing going on. Their returns, oh, I completely missed it. And then there was other platformers that were coming out. There was like the Kirby one on the Wii. I couldn't really get into that one either. And then what else was coming out? I don't know, there's a lot of 2D platformers, and I just wasn't feeling it. At that point in time, I was just so much more invested into, like, fighting games and shooters. I don't know. It just wasn't the platforming area for me. 
But I think if I were to play the Country Returns games now, I'd be I'd be into it. I think I could dig it. I don't know. <laughs> Especially since I started streaming. I've played a lot of platformers. Caveman Ninja. Oh, do you mean uh, Joe and Mac? You're talking about Joe and Mac, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, man. Like, um, it's been a while since I've played it, but a while would still be, uh, like, within three years since the last time I played it. So I'd definitely be rusty, but <laughs> is your rust as rusty as mine? <laughs> there is the question. Yo, you wanna get more into learning DKC2 yourself, Grand Magusa? Yo, you should, man. It's such a good game. So good. Oh, you only learned up to World 4 before the race? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it was a 12-hour challenge, so it's not like we could learn everything. You just kinda have to do what you can, so that you can do a run. That's the point, man. Oh, you played it some early this year? Well, that would be fair, man. If you want to do a Joe and Mac race, I'm down. I would do that. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm speaking a little too soon. That is something that I would be interested in doing. But again, I would have to figure out the uh, scheduling for that. <laughs> so, you know, let's, let's think about that first before I just go, Oh, yeah, that's totally something I'm going to do. I don't want to, you know, have expectations be too high and then uh, fall short of that. Whoops. Don't hold right. Skill level would be different. I mean, I do play a lot of video games. <laughs> like generally about five hours a day, five days a week. I'm in there, man. I'm in there. I don't pretend to be, like, the best or anything, but I don't think I'm bad. No, sir. <laughs> Majora's Mask race? I would love to play Majora's Mask just because it's Majora's Mask. I don't think that'd be a game I would want to race. I think that would take the joy out of it. That's just how I feel about certain games. It's like, I want to play Donkey Kong Country- or not Donkey Kong. <laughs> um, Sonic Adventure 2 is what I meant to say. I want to play Sonic Adventure 2. And, like, Glackham keeps trying to get me to race it with him, and it's like, I don't want to race it. I just want to play it. It's a fun game. <laughs> Probably for the best in Vizzo! Okay, buddy. Okay, I, I see what you're doing there. But it's just, uh, you know, I'm realistic about it, you know? Like, I know I'm not the best at video games in the world. To be fair, there's literally no one that's the best at all video games. We all specialize in things to a degree. And I feel there are certain games that I, uh, am better than the majority of people in the world then. Like, uh, take Smash Brothers or, uh, like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Street Fighter. Um, even like Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart's, uh, Wii U. I feel like I'm a lot better than a lot of people, but, you know, it doesn't take a lot, in my opinion, to be better than most people in the world, because most people in the world play games at a pretty casual level. So, to really give that any meaning, you would have to say that it's like... Oh, you knocked the bananas out of me! But yeah, I'm, I'm better than a lot of people that play the ga those games competitively. <laughs> the Kappa face was meant to make me laugh. Oh, man. Minx has been really salty recently. <laughs> Maybe he needs to lower the salt intake. You... Can, can, can you really say those words? <laughs> you shouldn't be saying those things. Anybody else but you. You can't say those words you just did? Oh, man. Yo, look. People, people can physically and literally do certain things. That doesn't mean it's right. Something like the Ninlympics? Oh yeah, that's that's really cool. But like even then, like those people still specialize in certain games. 
Like, they're still really good, like, broadly. But, you know, like, say you'll have this guy, he's, like, really good at Splatoon, he's really good at, uh, Smash Brothers, really good at Mario Kart, and then they, then they have to play Balloon Fight, and they're like, I don't know what to do, or they have to play Super Mario Maker, and they're like, I didn't know you could do wall jumps. <laughs> like, we all specialize in games to a degree, not everyone knows everything. Just not a thing. It's impossible. Too many games that exist. You should because it's funny. Oh man. Hate this level so much? What do you have against this level? What did it ever do to you? What, too many too many dragonflies? Too many bees? Oh I, I can understand that. I hate bees. Are the balloons? I like the balloons. I just don't like the bees. Bees are very very not nice. But I generally have a disdain for uh <laughs> pretty much any, like, flying creature in a video game. They just generally happen to be bats. But not always. <laughs> Sometimes they're bees! Uh, Grand Magusa says, The trick with Rambi in this level is so bad, I just couldn't figure it out in my practice. I had no idea about the inputs. Yeah, wasn't, uh, King Hippo doing that? I'm pretty sure that's what he spent most of his time doing. Was the was that rhino trick. I saw him do it on his stream during practice. It was so cool, man. Such a cool trick. I don't know if he got it off, like, in the races. Cause we did more than one, didn't we? Or did we only do one? I don't remember. Either way, I saw him do it in practice, and it was super cool. Charlie says the balloons is a garbage mechanic that they shouldn't have made. It's slow and plodding and adds nothing to the game. It's, it's variety, you know? I don't think everybody's always trying to go fast. I mean, obviously, if you're a speedrunner, then yes. But uh, from a casual perspective, it's like... I don't know, it's just another type of platform. It's not very fast, but at the same time, you are still being presented with, like, challenges and decisions that you need to make. You know? It's like, how high do you want the balloon to be? Like, uh... How far forward can you really make it from here? Um, how should you position yourself to get past this dragonfly or get past this bee? As long as I'm making decisions, I'm cool with it. I like that a lot more than like, say, a Mario level where you're riding on like, a conveyor belt of sorts. And there's not a lot to do for the majority of it. And then it's like, oh, okay, now I have to jump. Wait three seconds, now I have to jump. Wait 10 seconds, now I have to jump. Like, I'm literally managing my height, so that makes it more interesting to me. But it's it's not exactly super dynamic. I'm, I'm not gonna argue that. It's not, not so much. That's okay. Overshot says, I've got all three of these games, and number two is my fave, and I've lost Donkey Kong 2. Yo, rip, man. But yeah, I have, um, I have two and three. I lost my first one. But yeah, I was real little. Donkey Kong Country 1, man. So I wasn't exactly the best at taking care of my games, unfortunately. But yeah, I still have two and three, which is nice. Excuse you, buddy. Um, they might have paint on them, but <laughs> they work! They're just, you know, very colorful. Oh, we only did one? Oh, okay, I couldn't remember how many races we did. You always try to go fast in Vizzo? That's fair. I don't know. Like, in a lot of games, trying to go fast just gets you killed. Maybe I get that from, like, playing Bubsy the Bobcat so much as a kid. Because you could go ridiculously fast in that game. Because, you know, it, it's basically a Sonic game. That's what they wanted it to be. Here's your mascot platformer. You can go fast. Have fun, kids. <laughs> but the level signs all- the level design is all trash. So, like, if you just move as fast as you can, you just die. You just die over and over and over again, and there's no reacting to it. You move way too fast to literally see the things on screen. It's not so much a, like, my reaction time's not fast enough. It's like the human. <laughs> the human reaction time is not fast enough. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. It's a bad game. I like it, though. But yeah, uh, playing that when I was younger, I would, you know, walk in a lot of places. If I wanted to go fast, I'd have to be replaying a level 
and know the layout of the level, you know? Uh, controller says, variety is all nice and all, but having no control of your speed is obnoxious to me. Well, it's not that you have no control over your speed. You're not, like, going Lightning McQueen fast or anything, but that, that balloon does travel at different speeds. So, like, like it's and it's momentum-based. Like, if you're going, um... Ah, jeez, stupid sword. And I lost the... Oh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, like, depending on how fast you're moving on that thing is how fast the balloon will go. Like, if you're barely, like, standing at the edge of it, it moves really slow. If you move all the way to the edge of the balloon with all of your speed and you stay on the balloon, then your momentum carries the balloon faster than what it would normally go. So there's momentum control, and I really like that in video games. I like it when momentum's actually a thing, and it influences how, you know, fast you're going, how you take certain jumps. That's interesting to me. Like, I know a lot of other people also don't like uh, rain in platform games. Rain that either, like, slows you down or moves you forward. I love that. I love changes to the momentum because it, like, it just augments everything you do, and you have to think more about what you're doing. I like that. Though, in those games, generally, it's a faster thing. It's, it's still pretty slow with the balloons. But, you know, it has the pieces to the puzzle that I like. If you get me. Uh-oh. So back to Joe and Mac, which doesn't have garbage to balloons. Uh, you are okay at doing a race. We just need to find a time we can both do it. Alright. Yeah, I generally... I generally prioritize certain things like they're like oh i need to play this game or i need to play that game like i don't like doing a race just like out of the blue where it's like yeah i want to do a race pew pew let's do that on wednesday and it's like i can't do that on wednesday i'm supposed to play hollow knight on wednesday or like say there's a new game that's out i gotta play that but yeah no i i don't think there's any new games coming out for a while that i plan on playing for real for real I mean, I might play Spider-Man, but I haven't decided yet if I want to stream Spider-Man, or if that'll be something I just get and don't stream. I don't know. Spider-Man doesn't seem to be really within, like, my demographic, I guess? I don't know how many people would be interested by that. What's up? What up, what up, what up? You know, nothing much. Ooh! Yes, I am playing <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2. Nice. Pretty awesome. Yo, for those of you that can't see, because I'm uh, not using my webcam today, but yo, my sister Gypsy has joined me. They all know. They know my voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vizzo. Hey, 10th Doctor. Yo, how you doing, Gypsy? I'm doing pretty well. Yo, hey, that's Katrilius. awesome to hear. Yeah, I, um, I finished my, my finals last weekend. I know I said that in chat, I think, a little, couple days ago. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's it's a Saturday, and I don't have to study for anything. <gasps> Yo, that's awesome. That's so good. So the question is, though, what are you going to do with all this newfound time? Uh, video games. Video games? That does sound pretty Who good. Let's play video games. <laughs> Ah, let's not die the here. The Bit Cup has a sister? Yes, the Bit Cup does have a sister. Yep. Nah, there's no Vanks, it's just a Bit a bit Cup and its sister. Yep. Yeah, and Vizzo, I actually did really well on my finals. Um, I have a uh, 4.0 in college. Uh, so, you know, doing pretty, pretty well. Now I just have to look into graduate school. But, you know, money. <laughs> no. Yo, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like um, getting my associate's degree was like a participation trophy, uh -huh. and now getting my bachelor's degree is more like a, uh, it's like, I, it's a certificate that says I know stuff, but like, it doesn't <laughs> really get me anything. Yeah, that's fair. But still, that's really, really awesome, Nothing, man. Yeah. It's really good. Vizzo says 4.0. Yo, 4.0 is where yeah. it's at. Yeah, you know. I just, I did the studyings. You know, studying is very important. I think, I think it was what I tell people, like, who are like, how did you do that? Because, you know, I wasn't a 4.0 student by no means when I was in high school. 
uh, you know, I was studying what I was passionate about and what I found interest in. And so I think that's what really helped me get good Garyeds. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. He out controls with all the bits for a happy bit cup since it has a smart sister. <laughs> a smarter sister. <laughs> uh, they're so kind. Oh, did you see the salt that I got? Oh, wow. Oh, this, this was what was in the box. That was what was in the box, this yes. Is so it was much that salt. in the Mega Man. It's so much salt. It's so much salt. I love it. <laughs> and Vizzo says, I was bad at studying. Turns out I did better when I didn't study. Lol. Yeah, actually, Invisa, that's what I did too. I was I was not great at studying. I don't want to talk about it, Catrolius. <laughs> you, you, you sure you don't want to talk about I it? I don't want to talk about it. I'm sure they can hear it. <laughs> Uh, Josie likes the salt. She likes it. I do. I use it in a lot of what I cook. So I, I try to tell them like this, we have, we have so much salt. We, we don't do. need more salt. We have so much sodium chloride in the house. We have pink salt. Like we, we have salt we of have different Himalayan colors. We have Himalayan salt. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're very fancy with our salts at times. So yes. So many salt. So much salt. Ah, it's beautiful. <sighs> Super salt. Thanks, Jay Globes. Ah. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to take this to my internship and put it on my office desk. I don't need the salt. If you want it, it's all yours. Charlie says, I almost got you more pink salt, but it's super expensive. It is. It, it really is. And you know, you really don't have to because we already have pink salt. We do. I do. We, we, we also have like chipotle salt or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like spicy salt. Oh, <laughs> why, why is the salt going to be spicy? Yeah, no, we don't need spicy salt. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Charlie says, I mean, let me know if you need more salt things. <laughs> like, he's got, what is he, like, your salt dealer? I don't, I don't need any. Keep the salt. I don't want to. Yeah. It's like a maraca. We can make music. Well, it is nice that we can use the salt canister as a salt shaker. Charlie says, oh, Vegas doesn't like spice. And yeah, I'm, spicy. Like I do like spicy things, but I'm just not into super spicy. Like it just depends on the level. Like it's I do have fun eating something that's like really really spicy, but that's like a once in a blue moon thing. Yeah. If I want to eat something and enjoy the experience, I'd prefer it's only a little spicy. I used to not enjoy spicy at all, mm -hmm. and now I make my own kimchi. So I think it's a developed <laughs> thing where. You know, just depends on what you eat every day. Yeah, that's fair. Eventually, that's you fair. know, you're gonna eat something. You're like, this isn't even spicy. <laughs> but mm -hmm. like five years ago, I would have been like, my mouth, my tongue. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, it's it's ridiculous. Like when I was uh, in Australia, I was eating a lot of spicy things. Mm -hmm. But oh my goodness, man! Like uh, now that I'm back in the U.S. and I've been eating. Um, like more simple things, I guess. When I do eat something that's slightly spicy, it affects me so much more than it used to. Yeah. Let's see, Catrolia says, okay, I'll send baked super spicy jerk sauce then. <laughs> no, thank you! <laughs> and then, let's see what is, oh yeah, I have requirements at J plus one vote. Oh, he's putting a vote towards something? And plus oh, ogre, ogre battle. battle. Oh, okay. And jerk is amazing. Is it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I would know. I don't think I've... Maybe? I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had, like, jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. Like jerk chicken? Yeah, no, I I haven't participated in any of that myself. I mean, I'm told it's uh, the way by some people, but people say a lot of things. Automod, why? I don't know. Automod thought that it was inappropriate. I guess you've never <laughs> had jerk chicken. Um, no, yeah. Like, um, I don't know, I've had a bunch of different types of chicken, but not that. No, sir. Yeah. I mean, there's there was a place right next to, like, um, a place I used to work at that, that had jerk chicken and stuff, but I just, I never went in there. Yeah. Mostly because I didn't want to spend my money, because I was <laughs> very young 20s at the time, and spending mm -hmm. my money just was not what I was about. Yeah. And bam, easy level. <laughs> I got the N and the G. I didn't get I didn't get the K or the O. That's fine. <laughs> Reason aggressive, yo. 
Why you gotta be so aggressive? Jeez, Catrolius. Jeez, man. You need to settle pedal, dude. Uh, jerk is mostly Caribbean. It's a spicy pineapple-ish flavor? That doesn't sound bad. That sounds good. Yeah. No, I just, I've never really ventured anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, generally when I'm, like, gonna spend the monies on, like, something I really want to eat, <laughs> it's, like, something yeah. I already know is gonna taste Pretty good. Pretty much. Nothing makes me sadder. Literally nothing yes. makes me sadder than spending money on yes. food that doesn't taste good. See, I already knew what you were gonna say, because I feel so passionate about that. <laughs> like, for me, when I go to a restaurant, like, if I do go out to eat, mm -hmm. I always order the same thing. Like, I'll sit down, and they're like, oh, what well, can I get you a drink? I'm like... Here's my drink order and my food order. Get it started. Because <laughs> yep. I ain't got time, one. And two, I don't need to look at your menu. This is useless. Like, because any time that I've ever, like, tried something different, I was like, this is this is disgusting. Yeah, no, nah, it wasted just, my money. Yeah, it just, oh, it hurts. It yeah, hurts so bad. It does. Like, especially if it's, like, a fancy place. Yeah. And it'll be, like, $30, $50 for the thing. It's yeah. like, oh, this is such a nice experience. And then the food gets there, you take a bite, and you're like, oh, man. No, you know what's worse for me? This is just a waste of my afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> like, just your whole days, it's all gone bad. <laughs> it's even... See, I'm worse because it doesn't even have to be an expensive place. <laughs> it can be like fast food. No, no, that is also true. It's just like it compounds on top of itself yeah. if you're spending $50 <laughs> on it. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wanted to take you to this fancy restaurant. Oh yeah, I sure do like it. <laughs> yeah, like I think um, I tried blue cheese once and I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Thanks as an adventurous? I mean, I am, though. Because, like, I did that, right? Like, I went to, like, speaking of, like, spice and food, I went to this place called, like, Crazy Wings, which I'm sure I've mentioned before on stream. Yeah. And, yeah, like, uh, they would always say that these wings were, like, just ridiculous, that even people that love spicy food couldn't eat it. And I'm like, even people that eat spicy food? Because, like, I didn't really eat spicy at all at the time. And I went there with a couple of friends, and like they were huge in the spicy stuff, so we all decided we were all going to eat it. And we had other wings too, like um, ones that, you know, weren't <laughs> supposedly causing people to like, you know, uh, lose their souls. <laughs> and so yeah, we, we ate the good, you know, safe chicken, and then at the very end we're like, alright, let's do this. And we all took a bite at the same time. And I'll never forget, like, I took that first bite, and it just tasted delicious. So I was like, I don't... I don't understand why, you know, everyone says it's such a big deal. This this tastes really good. And then, like, I took a second bite. And I was like, yeah, this, this is... And then, then it hit. <laughs> then it hit, and it was just all over, man. It was all over so fast. I, I could just feel it, like, the world was over. Like, you know, because you enjoy the world. Like, it's 70% water, but I just couldn't <laughs> believe that in that moment anymore. It was so hot, dude. It was ridiculous. Like, I was sweating. I was crying. Tears were just coming out of my face. Like, I wasn't sad. It's just, it was so painful. And I look at my two friends, the two guys that were, like, brave enough to do it. And, like, they weren't crying, but they, oh, my goodness, man. I've never, I've never seen people sweat so much. Like, their clothes were just getting soaked. It was ridiculous. And they, they ate the whole thing, man. I, I went through a good amount of it. But I was like, you know, at a certain point, I have to realize I care about my body. And I was all done. I care about my oh, body. It was more the than worst. Because, like, I was trying to drink this, uh, just anything to get the taste out of my mouth. And, you know, water doesn't work. So, like, uh, my friend had this uh, green tea, and I don't like tea at all. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me just <laughs> shove this tea in there. And it was so disgusting. The tea was just what? awful. Tea is amazing. Oh, You're my goodness. Ridiculous. I did not like it, and just my stomach was like, you've made a lot of poor decisions, Binks. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want this to go? And I was like, I would like to do things that are socially acceptable, please. <laughs> and my stomach then says, if you, if you want to go that route, you're going to have to find something else to drink real fast. <laughs> 
And yeah, no, man, no. I left the store and I found something, some sort of like slurpy thing that was like cherry flavored. And that did it. That helped me to recover. It was close though, because I, I did have to go to the bathroom. But I, I kept it in. I kept it in. But it was close. It was real close. I'm sorry. I'm going to need a quote of, I would like to do things that are socially acceptable. <laughs> I, that's what I wanted, man. Like, I had to I had to drink something to get the taste oh, out. I real think, bad. I think almost everyone has had that thought. I would like to do things that are socially acceptable. Because it's like, you know, you know, I'm like out there with my friends, you know, trying to have a good time. I don't want to ruin everybody else's day. Oh, Control See, Control Ace has my back. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, to say I'm not adventurous is just untrue. It just doesn't work out for me very well a lot of the time. Charlie says, I got your back, but Bot hates me. Bot is, Bot is getting it right now. It does not like anybody. This is not about it. His doctor slaps the Autobot. <gasps> Well, auto block my phone. That is rude. <laughs> oh no, I was in the perfect place. Oh wait, I can go back? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. That's perfect. gonna be real sad. Oh, that's a bonus minigame. I didn't want to do that. Well, apparently, subconsciously you did. I thought this was the way to go. Yeah, subconsciously you wanted the minigame. Apparently. Apparently. Duh. Oh, that story. I've, I've heard that story countless times, but it just gets better and better. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've shared, like, I'm pretty sure this has to be the third or fourth time I've shared it on stream. You but just get like... more passionate every time, which is what <laughs> I appreciate. Fair. Oh, man, because, like, I can just remember the experience so well. Mm, yeah. It was traumatic. It was traumatic. <laughs> it was so spicy. <laughs> oh, so funny. Really good. Oh, oh, I did. So one of the things I have been thinking about doing... Um, since I have all this free time, mm -hmm. is possibly streaming um, Little Dragon Cafe when it comes out. Oh, yeah, when's that come out? It comes out August 24th, and I'm so excited 24th, for it. yeah, so that's what, 13 days from now? Yes. Yo, that does not sound like a bad idea at all. Yeah. I don't know if stream would want to see that, but... Yo, I want to see it. Right. I want to see it, too. I just want to play it. <laughs> Yo, man, everyone knows that I'm, you know, the king of games, master of all puzzles. So they don't think I play things that are more casual. <laughs> they don't know that. Oh, yeah. I love, I love Cooking Mama. I love Harvest oh, yeah. Moon. I love a lot of those games. Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Which, to be fair, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in chat that like Animal Crossing. I mean, how could you not? Yeah, you get to pay off debt, which is something <laughs> we don't get to really do in real life. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. Is this what it feels like? Yeah. Every time, I mean, yeah, you gain more debt quickly. Hey, man, that's not where you want to. Oh, go. Cherry Blossom's in here. How are you doing, Cherry Blossom? And yes, I I did kind of kill myself. The These barrels says are Animal Crossing beat. Switch win. Oh. Yeah, I remember because there was there was a E3 Direct thing happening, and he was like, Animal Crossing's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I kept telling him it wasn't gonna happen. It's not time yet. It's not time. And he wouldn't believe me. And then you know the Animal Crossing never came. Charlie says, I hate Animal Crossing because it reminds me of my debt too much. <laughs> That's fair, but you know, I ignore those feelings when I play Animal Crossing. I'm just like, I'm so successful. I have a house. I mean, I do in real life too, but I get to make modifications and Yeah, <laughs> it's like, would you like, would you like a basement? I like, would. you have no basement. We'll just make you a basement. Right? Yeah. You want a second floor? You want, a lar you want us to just make the house even larger? We'll do Not that. a problem. Not a problem. And then you can just go fish for the moon and sell me the moon. I'll take that. <laughs> <sighs> hey man, do what you gotta do to make that money. Sorry, moon, you gotta go. Invisible says debt. Thank goodness I have none of that. And no loans for college either. See, I never had any loans for college because I just did FAFSA until I got into um, doing my undergrad more seriously and went to an actual university. Not that a community college isn't great, because it was, it got me my associate's degree. But yeah, as soon as I got to the actual university, they were like, ha, 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 you can't pay for this. I was like, you right though. <laughs> you right. Yeah, we're But I still I still use FAFSA, so that supplements most of my stuff, but I do have to take out some loans to cover the rest. Yeah. It's tough, man. That's do financial planning do. with Gypsy for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't have debt, and then poor decisions happen. It's a shame when I that happens. Like, I feel like that's pretty much everyone. <laughs> you know what happens? What the heck man? is Animal Crossing? 
Yo, Animal Crossing is a pretty good game. It's, um, let's see, how to explain Animal Crossing? Um, a whole bunch of animals. You, you, you're a human, but for some reason you live around anim like animals? And you, you get a tent, but then they're like, you shouldn't live in a tent, you should live in a house. And you're like, you're right. And this raccoon is like, I'll build you a house for dollars. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And then you spend the rest of your life paying off remodeling <laughs> and <laughs> making friends. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, pretty much. A lot of the time is just you walking around town, talking to your animal buddies. Oh, and a lot of it is like them being like, I haven't seen you in a year. Where you been at? <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I forgot I had this game. I'm sorry. Especially in New Leaf when they're like, hey, we haven't seen the mayor in a while. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't come around. I am the mayor of this town. Hey, could you do a favor for me? Could you give this wallpaper to Joey? I think he'd really like it. Right. <laughs> Joey, Joey's right next to you. you could I'd just, really appreciate it if you'd do that for me. You could just... Should I change my catchphrase? I don't care if you change your catchphrase. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see what the... Charlie says it wasn't my poor decisions that happened. I would have been fine if it was. Poor decisions were forced upon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that happens, that man. That can happen, too. <laughs> life life is tough like that. Yeah. Yeah, you true. can play by all the right rules and still still lose. And then Tenth Doctor says Animal Crossing is a build-your-own town with a real-time clock, very charming and addicting and fun. Purple Heart. Yeah, that's probably a much better description of what we gave. <laughs> uh, yeah. But not on Switch, it's not. Sounds like me Plaza? Uh, kinda like that, only you can move around more. Yeah. And like, you get your own house, and you can decorate it. Like, decorating oh, your yeah, house is kind is of a, a big part of, part of the game. Yeah, really like, you get different wallpapers, different uh, tiles for the floor, all sorts of like, you know, decorations, couches, TVs. And some, uh, and the really, what are those things, the drones, gyros? Oh, the gy were they called gyroids? Gyroids, yeah. I was like, I can't remember. Dyslexia is hard. Yeah, I but, think um, there's some sort of Japanese thing. No, they're adorable, and they can play music because you can set them up. And oh yeah, that's right. They would play times, music, and they'll play music, and then reset. Mr. Resetti comes out a lot. <laughs> well, only if you reset. For me. Yeah, you're not. They don't like it when you reset the game in Animal like, Crossing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you've ever played Smash Brothers with items on, you might have seen Mr. Rossetti, because like he comes out and just like nags at you for like <laughs> <laughs> forever. I've never seen that. I yeah, see it. that's pretty cool. Come on, boss guy. Just just be nice. It's weird because I know we played this game like constantly as children, mm -hmm. but I don't remember this. To be fair, <laughs> you would have been really little. No, our, uh, we were in, um, at Shooting Star, I think, at the time. To be fair, I <laughs> consider 20 to be <laughs> you're, little. You're right. <laughs> you're right, though. Charlie says, oh, it's 10.30? I forgot to do laundry. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, man. You still have two minutes to do it. I'm Wait, is there, like, a time limit to laundry for Charlie's? I don't understand. I mean, it's tough. Uh, like, for me, when I was uh, living in Aussie, like, legit, I would have to... Uh, go to a laundry place to do my laundry. I couldn't just, um, yeah. And to be fair, it'd be open kind of late, but you know, once it hits a certain time, no, I'll do laundry tomorrow. Mm, I understand. <laughs> I lived on King Street. <laughs> it's it's one of those. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had to use laundry in the past, where mm -hmm. it's just like, I don't want to be here, but I really yeah. need to. To be fair, the dryers were really good. Yeah. You know, it's it's nice to like put your clothes in a dryer and it dries the first time. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a magical thing. It's How does this happen? Thing. I don't know why it doesn't happen at home. <laughs> I know, right? But uh, Trilly says I want to sleep at some point tonight. I don't feel like starting the three loads tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, B, please. You know, that actually reminds me that there is a. Uh, Stuff I need to fold in my room. <laughs> I think that's always the worst part of doing laundry. Like, I don't mind mm -hmm. any other part of it. It's when it comes to folding the clothes afterwards. I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. want to. Yeah, I actually don't mind the folding part. It's the more putting them away I'm not a huge fan See, of. See, I can it's like, this has to go in this day. drawer, and this needs to go in the closet, this all needs to go in the hanger. Got it. I can do that, no problem. Not a problem. 
holding it. It's funny because like, you know, usually my husband will get upset and he's like, why don't you fold the clothes? And then I'll do it. And he's like, you're horrible at folding clothes. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I am. I don't ever want to get good at it. Because the worse I am, the more likely you are to do it. <laughs> he knows this though. These are good strats. Great strats. <laughs> If I never get good at it, they won't ask me to do <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. But you know, I do have to teach my children how to fold clothes and stuff. So yeah, that's fair. I guess I gotta get better at it. Eh, as long as they get the idea. Trolley says also my dryer is in is garbage. Oh yeah. Garbage dryers and I remember this B stage. I remember this. <sighs> I hate bees. I remember so it much. because I was always confused at like why the porcupines were in the hive. Yeah, I don't- I don't know why that is. It's just something I've grown to accept. I also didn't think that B was turning around that fast. Probably says I have to run the same load twice to try it. Oh, Yeah! Porcupines like honey? Wait, is that a real thing? Cause that's adorable. But still, like, why aren't they being attacked for, you know, being in the hive? Yo, they only fight monkeys. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just come down from up there off screen, that's fine. I didn't want to see you coming. That, no, I like the surprise. Surprise! Laundromat OP, yeah, the laundromat's pretty OP. Oh, but you were turning <laughs> left! He, he didn't go all the way! Oh, I guess I despawned him because oh, I moved off, too far right. First off, that's a she. Oh, you're right. Okay. You're right. She she is a woman. Yeah, because it, it's only the her. it's only the drones that are. No, none of them. None All of them? bees are female. No, I mean, there's what? some males, but yeah. they take the they take the flight, and then all the worker bees, the drones, all women, just like mm -hmm. ants. Yeah, they're yeah. independent women who don't need no man. Very true. So first off, that second off, she wasn't ready. She <laughs> she needed time. Yep. All right. If I just if I just take this a little bit more careful, wait for the bee. <laughs> Trolia says as a note: Don't Google porcupine and honey. <laughs> it isn't pleasant. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, man. Yeah, Google Google can be real scary oh, oh, sometimes. Oh, tenth doctor, you got me. What about male bee drills? <laughs> you right. I think male bee drills live on the same island with uh, all the like starter Pokemon that you can't ever find anywhere. <laughs> It's interesting because they have like a variation on that. There's this Pokemon called Vespa Queen, and you can only get that if it's um, the female base form. I think it's called like Cumby or something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, it's um, if it's a male, the males are the workers, mm. and it's just the female that can become the queen. Yeah, I mean, exactly it makes sense right. that the boys couldn't become the That's queen, like, I can't remember but what the Pokemon, it's just weird uh, that they're worker bees. I can't remember the Pokemon. It was in Sun and Moon when we were playing it, uh -huh. and it was like this poison, or it wasn't poison type, but it was um. Oh yeah, like the, the poison lizards. fire one. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, fire yeah. One. The lizard. I remember you caught the male, and I mm -hmm. caught the female, and so she did evolve into like the second form, and I was like, this yeah. form is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so, yep. Yeah. Only ladies. Only ladies. Yeah, Salazzle, there we go. And D says, that's why the queen bee spawn males every so often, just so they can breed, because they do in fact need a man. Uh, well, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, yeah, Dim Speedruns with the host, much oh, appreciation. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, combi as in like, um, what are they called, honeycombs. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh no! Oh no! Cause like my other jumps just carried my momentum and that one didn't carry my momentum. I wasn't prepared. You didn't do the math? I didn't do the math. You gotta do the math, thanks. Gotta do the math. Yo, D's saying what's up? Yo, nothing much, man. Just playing the video games. Hanging out with Gypsy. What up? Yeah, no, man. I, uh, I didn't know what I wanted to stream today. I was having a lot of trouble figuring that out. And then at the last second, I was like, I know what I really want. And I played the Castlevania game, and then after I beat that, it's Donkey Kong Country 2 time. Yeah, Vinks and I have been uh, practicing speedrunning for me. Yeah. Oh, ouchies. Yeah. yeah, gotta gotta do that speedrunning practice. Very important. I'm doing that a lot this week. Mm hmm But then I was like, but I'm tired. <laughs> oh no, bonus minigame! Yay! No! 
Oh, it man. It truly says, what? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get Gypsy to do a run with me. It's not going to be a race. It's going to be more of a, like, uh, we're both trying to complete the game at the same time kind of thing. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to beat all the bees. I didn't realize. I thought I was supposed to get to the end. But yes, uh, um, me and Gypsy are going to be uh, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue together. It should be fun. Yep. It'll be a callback to our childhood. Yes. Because, yeah, we used to play the... Uh, Red and blue together, and yeah, we've played a lot of the Pokemon games I together. I think almost every single Pokemon yeah. game we've played together. At the same time, we would sit next to each other with our screens back when they were GBAs, when they were Game Boys. Yeah, I think the only ones we haven't done was like gold, silver, or crystal. Because yeah. you had crystal, but you didn't get that one till later, because crystal didn't come out. Yeah. Like right then, and that was the first yeah. one you could be a girl in, so that mm -hmm. was really cool. Yeah. And then the other one, I think, was Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, well, yeah. Because, yeah, only one of us had a DS. Yep. But then, you know, when uh, Black uh, black and White came out, yep. we definitely both had DSs at that yeah. point. Yeah, and so we both played that, and when... And yeah, because we did Ruby and Sapphire, yep. Fire, Red, Leaf, Green. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we didn't do X and Y, because it was in Australia. Yeah. But we did do uh, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire, and Sun and Moon. Yeah. There's something going on with the shoutouts. Uh. In chat. Eh, it looks like it's fine to me. I don't see the problem. Figure it out. You must love this level, Banks. <laughs> oh, he's trying to shout out me? Yeah, I don't think it shout outs me. I think it just did the last, like, valid target. Alright, there we go. These levels are so hard, man. Yeah, I used to play the Donkey Kong Country games a lot when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was also back when games came out once a year. <laughs> so, you either you had a choice of playing nothing or whatever game had just come out. Yep, yep. Yeah, it, it's not like the good old like Call of Duty, you know, days we have in the modern days, man. Where it's just like a new Call of Duty every single year, a new Assassin's Creed, a new... I don't know what. Like, there's just so many games. Every single year. We didn't have that back in the day. I mean, there was, like, uh, when Sonic came out, they had a bunch of those, like, Echo the Dolphin, Bubsy the Bobcat. Yeah. Um, like, there's just a bunch of things like that, but those were bad games. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, we would get, we'd get, like, one game, and we'd have that one game just for months and months and months. Oh, yeah. And we would just play it. Yep. Turn over again. And you know you were content with that. <laughs> <laughs> Echo was awesome, you be quiet. Yeah, no, I, I never actually played Echo the Dolphin. The idea of it sounds so silly to me. But Wait, everyone what? that I hear talk about Echo the Dolphin seems to like it. It's, it's a, one of the Sega games. Oh. And, uh, cause yeah, we didn't have the Genesis oh, growing up. Yeah. But yeah, no, man, it was a game where you'd play as this dolphin and, like, legit, it's just a dolphin. It's not, like, a, huh. you know, a humanoid dolphin or anything. Okay. And yeah, you would swim around really fast and you had, like, an echolocation attack thing, I think. Uh -huh. I don't know, like, it looks really weird. I think you fight aliens. I think there's what? aliens what? that show up in the late levels. What? I've never played the game, but I watched the speedrun. Okay, run. I need to watch the speedrun of this, because, like, it sounds weird. It sounds so weird that it's. It, it, it like, I don't know what, like, the whole core of the game is. <laughs> like, because I wasn't super paying attention. And then I. Because, like, it was, um. It was at GDQ, the game Sun Quick. And so I just tuned in late into the speedrun. Mm -hmm. And it, it was very interesting. The dolphin moves really fast. Yeah. But you're also playing as a dolphin. <laughs> I just totally didn't. This does get say it. you do, in fact, fight aliens in Echo. <laughs> well, there you go. Cause yeah, I wasn't a hundred percent there, but I was like, I think there's aliens. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know what them dolphins get up to? Yeah. Them crazy dolphins. Evo. Oh yeah, oh, I love, I love Evo. that game. So oh, dude. much. Oh. So good. Yeah. Cause uh, our mom played it all the time, oh, yeah. and then you know, obviously watching her play, we would want to play. 
Yeah, no, I remember you starting off as a little fish. A little fish fish. Fighting that, oh my goodness. That shark. As a kid, that shark scared the heck terrifying. out of me. Because he's so huge, right? Because you enter the room and you would hear that music and it slows down. Dun, 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 dun. And then it he's just, so it's just, he's got that giant, you know, smug oh, smile. Yeah. And yeah, you just be like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna devour you, you know. I don't you even don't... remember how old I was the first time, because most of the games that I ever grew up playing, I would always see Banks play first, and so he would be playing them, and he would make it look so easy that just to this day I always believe if I can't beat something in the video games, Banks got it. <laughs> but like, there's been times where I'm like, Banks obviously does not have this. <laughs> But I just, he's my older brother, so I just always will believe that. But oh man, I remember when I played that game, I was just like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. And then that, um, that scene where the dinosaurs are, uh, it's not their oh, time Oh yeah, anymore. that's so sad. so sad. So sad, because there's the baby, baby dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh man, and the bees, the bees that attacked the dinosaurs yeah. before that, that was really sad too. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that, that was just a sad game. Oh, where's the face cam? I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I was like, eh, no face cam today. No face cam. Well, Dem was just like, I can hear your sister in the light. I brighten up the stream, like, whatever. Really this is, is true. No. This is very true. It's, it's... Oh, but you were saying you made your first $40 on Twitch? Yo, that's oh, awesome, man! That was nice. Yo, that's so good. That's, I've made zero dollars. Yeah, and good luck in the K roll. Yo, we'll get there. You know, as long as they stop dying to these bugs. One day. <laughs> D, uh, D says, uh, dude, man, I can't even stream anymore during the week. If I do, it's hard. It feels bad. Yo, that's unfortunate, man. But, uh, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes, you know, life changes. We have to change up our schedules. We yeah. can't really do what we want to do. Yeah. Work with what you got. Tenth Doctor has me. One. Dollar. <laughs> Yo, one dollar he do. Hashtag fallen. Yo, hashtag my man. Jealous. Yo, you hashtag can buy blessed. you can buy a whole pack of gum with that. You know that? that's so many pieces of gum. Oh snap. Yeah, man, you stretch that dollar out. Yo. Let's go. Yeah. About to get that that mint flavor. That mint fresh breath. Yo, good to go. Yo. And that's that's technically an investment because you can have fresh breath while you're streaming. That right? is yeah. an investment, you know. It's an investment. You could you could write it off as a business. To write off. <laughs> this this uh, gum is a business. Trolia says you can buy a pack of gum for a dollar when you find this gum. In some places, yes. Yeah, not here. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, um, at, like, the dollar store. Oh, 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 Banks over here with the OP bargaining. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'm just saying. You right, though, you right. Like, these, these opportunities exist, you just have to look for them. Yep. You just you gotta be cheap enough to find them. <laughs> I know, right? Where we go back, go? now we go really fast. Oh, which also makes it harder to, like, live, but... Like, totally worth. Why are you going backwards? Gotta go Ooh, fast. Oh, gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. Gotta go faster. faster. <laughs> the song's stuck in my head. Yeah, Sonic X, man. It'll always be in my head. Yeah, I like that cartoon. I mean, the whole, like, uh, that one kid, Chris, he was weird, oh, no! and I'm dead. <laughs> like, the kid was weird, but, you know, seeing Sonic and all of them. I love the art style. <laughs> the art style was really nice. Yeah. I just like the song, so... <laughs> yeah? I don't have a whole one sub hype. Uh, yeah. Walmart yeah, don't cheats expect, everyone, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Walmart does cheat. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Tense Doctor, I got my first sub before I had any emotes. Uh, Zatsu was my first ever subscriber. Oh, gosh darn it! Yay. And yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't have an emote! Yeah, actually, I think a good number of people subscribed before, like, the Get Good was an emote, and, like, even once Tense Doctor himself, like, had, uh, you know, made the emote for me, like, um, it still took a very long time before, like, Twitch accepted it. Like, I think it was, like, a good two or three weeks, which is funny, because, like, I'm complaining about that, but, like, there were other streamers, uh, submitting at the same time, and I'm gonna die in the same place! But yeah, it would take them, like, a month. So, yeah, I shouldn't complain. And Doctor over here, 
shouting out his stream. What? Oh, I know, right? Oh my. It's group number. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all good. He over here trying to steal me on our turf. I'm just kidding. Yeah, man. He's like, all right, look, look, look. You guys, you think Donkey Kong Country 2 is cool. <laughs> but I'm just going to die in the same place for the third time. You can't see that anywhere else. <laughs> if you want to see a guy die the exact same the way. same place. What? Three times in a row, you got to come to Super 2U stream. Cause it's like, what the problem is, is I'm not thinking about it, I'm so like, just interacting with chat. And I'm like, oh, there's a crocodile, you jump on crocodiles. But every time I jump on him, I die. Cause like, I don't get to land, I bounce in the air, and then there's nothing to land on, so I can't jump right before the thing, so now I'm scared. Okay, okay, so that's <laughs> the guy I normally die on, and there's the jump. Be okay, afraid. so we are further than we've ever made it before, Yay! guys. This is a new moment for oh, us. No. How do you feel? I feel good, you know. I just, I believed in us. That's nice. You know, I'm glad. I truly, I mean, I'm not playing, but I <laughs> believed in us. That's good. You know, belief can get you, get you places. Yeah, it really can. You know? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a little bit scary. It is scary. Oh, what are you doing, Banks? You're I crazy. had to! You're crazy. I had to jump! Banks like, that's crazy. the problem. There's no brakes. Oh, you don't no. break the thing. You can't slow <laughs> down. Like, if you get <laughs> one of those crocodiles at the wrong spot, right? Because, like, you have to either jump to get over them, but in the wrong spot, that'll cause you to fall to your death, mm -hmm. or you can bump into the back of them, which also slows you down for a moment, but you also then can't control your car for a moment. So if you're in that same spot, you still also just die. Okay, sounds like it's useless. <laughs> it's it's tough. It's it's really tough, man. Like out of all the levels that I practiced when I was doing a race for this game, <laughs> this is the one I put the most time into. Petrolius says, "Oh yeah, I haven't used this emote yet. Let's use it to celebrate Meg's fourth death to Gator Racing." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Catrillius. It's, it's so festive. It's so it's so appropriate because look, there's a like teal color one right there. Yup, yup. So appropriate. Ooh, I'm I don't alive. Know how you lived right there because you were clearly not on the track. <laughs> I don't think the game knows either. <laughs> I try. I try so hard. I I I I'm gonna invest one day into a webcam mm -hmm. that you can point that just shoots at your hands when you're using the controller. Because uh -huh. there's so much emotion that goes <laughs> into you pressing the buttons at times that only I get to see and it should be shared with the rest of the stream. <laughs> this is fair. It's a beautiful I didn't get my speed boost. You this time, sure guys. did not, sir. Oh man, see this is this is what happens. When you bump into those guys, did, man. Did he just put his hands up? Like, put your hands up, it's Wee! more fun. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's put our hands up, it's a death coaster. Oh, man. Diddy, there's a time and place. <laughs> oh, Diddy. Oh, it's so tough, because you have to take out all these gators, man. And just, they could always happen to just be around at the wrong time. Like, right there? Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. He only slowed me down. He could have killed me. Mm. But sometimes slowing me down is enough to kill me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's no rude. good, man. It's rude. It's just, it's rude. It's really rude. I don't appreciate it. I wish they wouldn't do that. Oh, man. Trillia says, and before game over, Banks, you don't have to take out any of the gators. You can come in 10th place as long as you finish. Just don't. Die. I have to say, I've never seen that. <laughs> I've never seen someone come in 10th place and beat the level. Is that actually possible? I could have sworn the end of the level repeated itself until you beat the guy. I could have sworn. Oh no, I'm in third. Ah! <laughs> That's a first. Learn something new every day. Alright, we're getting towards the end of this world, man. We'll uh -oh. be having to fight the bee boss soon. Controlly says, I appreciate that Gypsy is reading what I'm writing in the exact manner that I am thinking it. <laughs> I'm in your brain, Controllius! Uh-oh. I'm in your brain! In the mind. Yeah. I, it must be my field of study that makes me able to get into the mind. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, you know. I am Yo, counselor. birds, please. Birds, please. <laughs> birds, I said please! All the birds. They and Charlie says, yeah, because you get the DK coin for getting first, that's the benefit. 
Also, oh. I'm deeply sorry for what's in, what is in my brain, Gypsy. It's okay. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> we'll get you the help you need. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Ted Soccer says, super psychic you. I mean, with a name like Gypsy, I should be able to, like, look into people. <laughs> that's, like, know. that's just, it comes it's with kinda, the name, you know, right? clairvoyance, whatnot. Like, your name is Gypsy, therefore. Therefore. Yep. Like, at at birth, she was already reading people's minds. <laughs> Tim says, also. a god. <laughs> also nice to meet you, Gypsy. Never heard of you before. I know, I'm the, uh... Mm, silent partner? <laughs> the secret one. Like, you know, where, like, you're playing, like, Street Fighter or whatever, and you're like, oh, yeah, I beat the final boss, and it's like a new challenger appears. That's me. Yep, yep, because you have to, you have to beat, like, the first five rounds without ever losing. You have to perfect at least mm -hmm. one person, yep. and then you unlock Gypsy. That's yep. how you do it. That's, that's how you do it. And I'm, like, impossible to beat. Like, yep, that's ridiculous. Yep. And let's see... Uh, oh, Deez is talking to Dim. That is yeah, so it's, that's always unfortunate, right? Like, I'll be looking at chat and they're like, oh, they're talking to me. Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, no. no. That's not for <laughs> No, me. they're not, not talking for my to me. eyes. Charlie says that's for the best. If it's not Vink's stream appropriate. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I figure. And Gypsy is the good player among the two of them. Yeah, I'm the best. You guys all remember when I was on the uh, stream... What was it? A couple weeks ago when we did the twelve hour? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, we did I'm do the twelve the hour best, stream. You guys, like, butt slams are the best. Yeah, because I mean, you ground beat um... butt slams. I beat that mustache welding king Babam. <laughs> yeah, no more king Babams, man. Get rid of him. And D Train says, "Yo, what's up, everyone? And all oh, it's my family. Yeah, the one you never come to visit. Never anymore. come to visit. You even like us anymore." D train, you don't call, you don't write. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to second that. Yep. I don't quite have the enthusiasm, but I promise you it's there in spirit. It is. It, no, Vanks is just so hurt that he's masking his. Yeah, emotions. I can't I can't, can't express it. He can't even. Can't D train. Even. He can't even. And Game Pro says, hi everyone with cute. Those are very cute emojis, I will have to agree. Oh, well, what are those, foxes? <laughs> I think so. And D-Train says, what salt? They told him that he missed the salt. Yeah, and uh... You missed the salt. Somebody. <laughs> I, we won't mention names of terrible, <laughs> terrible people that are awful and don't... Um, I don't know. I was going to go somewhere with that. But yeah, awful people sent me a <laughs> Mega Man me. amiibo, which was nice. I like the Mega Man amiibo. But, <laughs> but yeah, some awful it. person sent me salt. And then, uh, let's see. He says that super to you. I, what is that? Spoit? I'm wearing my glasses, but I cannot read that word. But anyways, Simon for people being announced and people are oh, spoiled. Oh, Simon spoiled. for people being announced and people think I did it on purpose. Oh. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon, sorry. What did yeah. I say? Simon? Something like that. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Simon Belmont. He was, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, recently yeah, announced. Yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, that, yeah, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. And D Train says, I'm going to be there for Thanksgiving, guys, I promise. Yeah, okay, D Train. That's what you said last year. No, you were here for D. Wait, were you here for Thanksgiving last year? I'm pretty sure you were. I mean, I make the best turkey in the universe, so you should be here. I mean, my food is pretty. Yeah, man. Gotta figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely called Simon, man. I called him two months ago, or two months before he was announced. <laughs> no, no, not, not on the phone. That would have his, been nice, though. You don't have his personal number? I don't have his number. I do. Oh, that's good. I hand it. Y'all talk, uh, you know, regularly? Yeah, we text. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't, you know, because the whole, like, medieval thing he has going on, I didn't even know he had don't a phone. Don't let that fool you. Uh... Gamer Pro, you probably don't know this because you're new to the stream, but this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> just yeah. so you know. Just to, just to put it out there. Just, just, I mean, that should have shown up in the chat before you started. Yeah, it does normally show up in the chat. But it could have not been working, so you know. We'll Benefit of the up, doubt. You know. Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> there we go, the friendly. family friendly stream. He commands. says people got. <laughs> Salty. If the post wasn't deleted, then it would have been less likely people found out he got spoiled. Yeah, apparently, but, like Nintendo accidentally. About it. Ouchies. 
Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. That people were getting all salty or whatever. But yeah, yeah I did hear that, um, because yeah, I was on Twitch when it happened. Oh. That apparently Nintendo put out a video that had music for the character. Mm. And so a lot of people were spoiled. But yeah, thankfully, yeah, I was in um, Cinnamon Stream actually when that oh, happened. Yeah. And yeah, one of her fans <laughs> was like very distraught about it. Oh. He was like, yeah, whatever you do, don't go on Twitter. And I was like, oh, okay. And, and by don't go on, on Twitter, Twitter, no, <laughs> no, I did not. I decided I would not go on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, YouTube. I turned all of those things oh. off. I turned off my notifications on my phone. I said goodbye to all of my viewers on my Discord. Also warning them to like not go on Twitter or anything <laughs> if they wanted to protect themselves. Yeah. And I didn't touch the internet again until the Nintendo Direct. So I was really lucky, but I did say on Twitter before that uh, leak happened, I was like, yeah, I think, uh, what's his face, um, King K. Roll is going to be announced in the Direct tomorrow, the 8-8 Direct, and I think, um, Simon Belmont will also happen at some point, and yeah, they were both announced that day, so that was really cool. See, my thing is, is I don't care if things get spoiled, but, like, I have to be the one who accepts that <laughs> and, like, goes looking for the spoil. You know what I mean? Yeah, Like, yeah. if somebody, like, purposely chases me down and tells me a spoil for something, I'm like, you're just a bad person. But if I go look for the stuff on my own, then that's on me. And then yeah. I keep that to myself because I don't want to ruin it for somebody else. So, like, how do you feel, like, when it's a show that you, like, really enjoy watching, and then, like, a commercial comes out that, like, mm. spoils the episode? What I, what I find funny, right, mm -hmm. is when movie trailers come out, and they spoil the movie, because, um, the movie, there's, there's different thing, businesses that do the movies, like, the studio will do the movie, right, and yes. they film it, then they send clips of it to a different studio that does, like, the trailers, and so the trailers will actually spoil the ending many times. Like yeah, I think in yeah. Age of Ultron, they spoiled that. Yeah, I, I didn't trailer. watch any of the trailers. And I remember we went to go see, I, I can't remember what movie we went to go see next. Was it but, Black Panther? Uh, yes, it was Black Panther, I think. But I, uh, mm, but I remember they were showing a trailer for uh, Infinity War. Yes. And this was prior to you seeing the new Thor movie. Yeah, so I, I was seen like, Thor, close yeah. your eyes, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> close yeah. your eyes, because I had seen the trailer on YouTube, but I knew there was a huge spoil about Thor if you had seen. Yeah, that. yeah. So I appreciated that. That was very yeah. nice of you to absolutely protect me from the spoilers. Yeah, that's because I don't expect spoilers when I'm just watching like the trailers at the movies. No, yeah. I expect it to be a bit yeah, more. Yeah, trailers makes a good point. Trailers are basically spoilers now. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. They didn't used to be. No, they really did They used didn't. to just be like, here's a couple of funny moments. Right? Here's a couple of action-y no, moments. Yeah, they, but they now they're really like, did. here's the most climactic part of the entire movie really in the is. trailer. Yeah, it's it like, really that's is. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So weird, man. I don't, but yeah, you know, uh, I have the choice. Like, nowadays I'll only watch a trailer mm -hmm. if I don't plan on watching the movie. Yeah. Like before, it used to be something I would do to get excited for it, but nowadays it's just not a thing you can do. It ruins yeah. your enjoyment. So it's like, if I'm on the fence, then I'll watch the trailer. Trolley says, no, they used to be the same things. We just didn't notice. <laughs> we just didn't notice? I mean, to be fair, nowadays we have a lot of movies that have like so much story to them mm -hmm. versus like back in the day, it'd be like, um, oh, there goes. Uh, what's his face? Jim Carrey in the mask? Yeah. Oh man! Oh, yeah, Look at him ogling that girl! He's in a yellow suit! Oh, his eyes are popping out! Like, yeah. what do you really spoil about that? See, Where, oh man, here's Flubber! Point. He's made out of Flub! Oh, I love that movie! Yeah, I love Flubber. Yeah, I was I was talking about George of the Jungle earlier today. Mm-hmm. Because we were singing the song for some reason. <laughs> That's cool. Because I love that song. But then, yeah, we were talking about the movie, and I was like, yeah, that was a very funny movie. I watched that a lot as a kid. Yeah, we did. Um, D Train says, "Well, you can, Vince, you can always gift that salt to Gypsy." Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> no, I already said she can have the salt. Yeah. I have no need of that salt. I have all the salt I'll ever need in life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't go. That rope just didn't want to be my friend. Yeah, places. You mm -hmm. wouldn't understand. That's fair. I'm not trying to judge. Why are you gonna throw a porcupine at me? 
But Dim said it's gonna go stream. Good luck, thanks. Yo, thank you again, Dim Speedruns. I really appreciate it, man. Good luck with your uh, stream, and hopefully you get a new world record. <laughs> Jay says I drink bottles of water every time that bot shows up. For real, there's nothing like someone oh, sitting yeah, there looking at you water. like, hey, drink some water, you jerk. You should, you should take care of yourself, you're right. Yeah, that's a good bot, because, like, I'll just go the whole stream sometimes and completely forget to drink water, which is, is no good. no bueno. Yeah, so I like that bot. It really yeah. helps. And yes, D-Train, that's about the only amount of Spanish I will speak. Oh, no! Yes. No! Yeah. <laughs> no! D-Train, uh. so are y'all playing co cooperative playing this? No, I'm actually just sitting in here. With Vinks, just you know, laughing. Yeah, she wasn't well. here when I started. Well, I'm here now, though. Vinks. <laughs> Thank you. That's what matters. It is what matters. You're here now. Right. And let's see, Vinks, drink your water. Jay says, "What's wrong with that? Not like you're moving or anything." Yeah, but he's speaking for what? How many hours do you stream? Five. Um, I yeah, generally about five That's hours. For five hours, just speaking nonstop. Yeah, no, like if you ever watch um just... comedians, a lot of comedians generally will do, and they usually only go like an hour. But a comedian will always have like a bottle of water or something. Some form of. And then, yeah, if you see, like, commentators for tournaments, football, whatever, they will also have water at the ready. Because, yeah. yeah, just talking, like, <laughs> for a very long time with little pauses. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's gonna be pretty taxing. Plus, Vinks also reacts emotionally a lot while he's playing these video games. <laughs> this is true. And, you know, sometimes he's gotta get comfort from, you know, some water. Just, like, okay, I'm a little bit better. <laughs> you know, I died five times to the same, you know... But, uh, enemy, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. He drinks water to get the salt out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> I've done, uh, I've done my dissertation on Vanks. <laughs> <laughs> and Vanks needs to just keep his salt intake down. That's what the water is for. Yes, Controlius. See, Controlius, I, I didn't realize I was still in your mind and in your brain, and so I, I said the same thing. So yeah. He knows. Oh, finally, man. That level, jeez. It likes you. It does like me. It told me. It told me so. Like, I don't like it back. <laughs> what? It's nothing personal. I just don't like hey, it. Hey, it's your favorite uh, cart ride. Yup. Oh, boy. It's your favorite. <sighs> this terrified me as a child. Oh, my God, right? This is just a giant spooky skeleton, dude. <laughs> and, yeah, and it's also like, um... I don't know, but like as a kid, when like timers were counting down, like oh, I would get so, so much anxious. anxiety. So, so like, cause yeah, you see the numbers counting down, and when they go down, he kills you. <laughs> it's like, I don't want like, no. It's literally counting down to your death. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan. No, see, what's funny is like now as an adult, when I play like things like Cooking Mama and stuff like that, I'm like, uh -huh. yeah, okay, time, but you know, Mama will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was a kid, anytime timers were a thing, I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my goodness. As a kid, I literally, like, not even joking, I literally had nightmares of uh, running out of time for uh, Sonic when he's, like, underwater. Oh, that music that plays when the time's running out, he's running out of breath. Oh, mm, it gets so anxious. Terrifying. And I know I'm not the only one. Like, that's the beautiful thing about Twitter, man. Just seeing other people with their video game anxieties. Mm. It's pretty, pretty cool. Jay says that I'll send you a bottle of water and some salt. <laughs> oh man. Oh goodness. Good for you. Will it be will it be like uh, deer park water? Like what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we here? talking about? What kind of water are we talking about? <laughs> we need some pretty good water. Mm, only the finest, the freshest of water. Yes, yes. From Mount or Lake Minnetoka. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate this part, man. Only the finest of salt. <laughs> Controlius. <laughs> Controlius. You know, or we could have no salt. Like, or. I think that's pretty good, too. Thanks. Help out the family, okay? Oh, man, man. We don't need any salt. We have plenty. Dasani? <laughs> Dasani's a good brand, actually. Did I make it? I made Controlius it. Controlius says oh. salt is life. 
<laughs> no, 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 Salt no, no, used no. to be used as money. He, he I know, it's been a money. long time since I've looked in a nutrition book, but last ancient time I money. looked. Trolleys gave you ancient money. <laughs> <laughs> ancient money? Ancient money. Not wrong. See, it would be the same as if Petroleus gave you rice, because that also used to be used as ancient money. I don't want these ancient currencies. I'm you sorry. You love rice, don't. I'm not don't an archaeologist. Oh, and clearly not an anthropologist either. Nope. Rude. D Train says you gotta send that Himalayan salt, sea salt. I don't want any Himalayan sea salt. And Charlie says, Sea Banks, I'll give you rice next. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have plenty of rice! Hey, hey, hey. We eat rice like every day, all right? Uh -huh. if, we're, if we're getting some free rice, you accept that rice. When do you, uh, I, uh, Wait, 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 what kind of rice are we talking here? Because <laughs> that's important. Like, is it like jasmine rice? Ooh. Now, if it's some great value rice, I will I will literally send it back. <laughs> Return to sender. Return to sender. If it's bag rice, like Uncle Ben rice, no, we have a problem. See, now that I'm Uncle mentioning ben this, rice. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a whole box of Uncle Ben rice. We don't need any Uncle Ben rice. Yeah, we really don't. And D-Train says, hey, he said the finest of salt. A says, white rice. Trolley says, I'll get the big bag of rice from the Super G Mark. I don't know what Super G Mark is. I assume it's some sort of just random, like, not quite Walmart store. No, no. <laughs> Let's go to the Dollar Tree. Yo, I need a bag of rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept it. Oh, it's a Chinese grocery oh, oh, store. Trolley. Oh, trolley. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. my. Okay. Okay. That might, be, that might be some good stuff. Yeah, I don't know, man. Might have the good stuff. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple of um, those kind of marts out here. We have little small ones, too, that I love going to. Mm -hmm. We actually have a Korean bakery in a city. Like, it's kind of a drive. It's like an hour. 45 minutes away? New yeah. produce? <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, but it, oh, it's so good. They make curry pan. Mm hmm. <gasps> so the wind changed direction as I was about to joke. Catrolia says they have the chopstick aisle and everything. Oh, that's good. Now, do they have kimchi refrigerators they sell there? Because you know it's real if they got some kimchi refrigerators. Fair enough. That's not something that I would know. Oh, well. Gypsy knows these things. I do. I do. I do. His life. Yeah, that actually was something I wanted to study. Prior what do you to want to study? Deciding to become a counselor was I wanted to uh, do uh, become an anthropologist. I thought I'd be funner than just doing Asian studies. Yeah, I fair enough. Become an anthropologist because I love history. Charlie says they have kimchi stone. Oh snap! Yup, get the rice there. <laughs> get the rice there. He knows. I'm, I, I'm assuming it's a he. I apologize for anyone if I if I. It's okay. He was assuming people's genders earlier stream. I'm just saying. <laughs> he was also calling people he. Because I know sometimes when I come in stream and I'm chatting, people will be like, "Oh, hey, dude," or they'll like call me by male pronouns, and I'm just giggling because like I'm a man now. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> funny to me. I'm like, yeah, I'm the manliest of man. Jolly says, I know this stuff, and I am a he. Banks knows this. He has proof. Banks, do we need to have a talk? Uh, look, I'll jump eventually. The wind will not always blow no, me down. No, I was talking about the fact that Trolley says you have Yeah, I, I know you were saying that. I was, I was going past it. <laughs> <laughs> but if I have to face it head on. Yes, yeah, apparently. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> I really wish you were still here. You know what? I need to grab some water because I don't have any and I was chastising you. Mm -hmm. uh, Yo, know, water's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> Super oblivious you. We've been over this. I have no memory. I remember nothing. Oh man, guys. Guys. Has the wind always been this ridiculous? I don't remember it being this ridiculous. The troll says, well, I feel like keeping my identity secret online is safe with me giving it to Vix. He'll never know. <laughs> this is very true. What's up now? You? Troll is saying. Um, I would never uh, give away his identity because I would forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, growing up with Vix as a, uh, you know, child, teenager, anytime I needed to tell somebody something, like a secret that I just couldn't keep to myself, I would tell Banks, because I knew I was safe. <laughs> yup, yup. Safe. 
Yeah, you just tell me something. It's the same thing as telling nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna remember. Either he's not gonna remember or he wasn't listening in the first place. <laughs> so... <laughs> this, that is also very valid. That is extremely valid. <laughs> Usually what I would typically do was where like I had done something and I needed to tell somebody because I felt bad. I'd tell Banks while he was playing video games. Yeah, no, that's a good way to do it, man. Yeah, I mean, it's better now with the whole streaming thing. Yeah. But yeah, no, when I was younger, man. Oh, that's that's death. That is death. Hi, death. Nice to meet My you favorite. again. But yeah, no, I'd be playing like Halo 2 or something. Someone's trying to say words. Does Powerade count as hydration? Yes, because I'm actually drinking Gatorade right now myself because I've been having headaches constantly. I don't think Gatorade helps with that. But I mean, it's supposed to be all rejuvenating, isn't it? I don't know. I, I just, mean, that's I... what like all the you know sports people do. <laughs> nah, I just uh, my head was killing me. It's been it's actually been hurting since last night when I was going to bed, and it it stops for a moment and then it comes back. But you know, being a woman, I'm just like pain is part of it. So... <laughs> <laughs> eh, pain is pain. Pain is pain. Nothing. Eh. And then, uh, Petrolia says, oh wait, Gypsy has the good memory. Gypsy, please tell Thanks to remember to upload the S... S... B Street Fighter Five. Thanks. Matches that he keeps forgetting. Ooh, Petrolius. See, what thing is, you should never use acronyms with me. Ever. Because I'm dyslexic. So, you'll tell me S-F-V. I'll tell Vinks DVD, and just <laughs> that's what happens. But I will try. The and letters were lost in the war. <laughs> they were lost in the war, sir. I apologize. The war that is my brain. Acronyms are OP, very OP. But I've I've made peace with my dyslexia. Lots of peace. It took a while. Okay, minutes. That's good. Yeah. Used to be something I was very ashamed and embarrassed about. Now, while working in my office. Whenever someone's like, my name is such and such, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to spell that. And they're like, it's Karen. I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to spell that. I don't know what you do. You might have an extra R or something in there. Look. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Cause yeah, um, yeah, you told me you had uh, people like put their phone numbers in your phone, right? Was that you? Oh yeah, that's my secret. Mm-hmm. That's my secret. I can't, cause I'm like, I'm not gonna know how to spell your name. And then just, I'm, I'll hand them my phone. Here is my phone. Put your name in there. And I always go, I'm dyslexic. Because I'm don't. i not embarrassed about it anymore. That's also my secret if, like, I can't remember someone's name. <laughs> but I know I don't have their number. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, you should put your number in my phone. And then they do it. I'm like, hey, hey, buddy, man. <laughs> oh, I know. Ah, fun. If I upload Dragon Ball Z episodes, you would not complain. That's fair. You know what? I need to catch up on Super. Oh, you really should. It's um, completed. No, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, See, you can watch I, I all pulled, the episodes. I pulled a Vanks. They're all on Crunchyroll. Yeah. They're completely free to watch. Three ninety nine is my price. It's a very good price. That is my price. Love three ninety nine. It's the best. Yeah, I used to be able to do this section without the bird. Let me try to do without the bird again. Oh, you're crazy. I am crazy. You crazy. Uh, what was it? Just hug left? Oh, I didn't mean to skip that bird, but okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thanks, crazy. Sometimes a little bit crazy. Oh, thanks. Oh, I did not roll correctly into that guy. Now I definitely need the bird. <laughs> okay, I got Diddy. But yeah, no, you need you need it to be the other order. I can't sacrifice Dixie to do the trick. Mm -mm. Oh, and there she goes. Hi, Dixie. <laughs> See you later. Kai Diddy, you. you. Have a beautiful time. Bye, Diddy. Miss you. <laughs> Bye, you. Because yeah, no, this is one of the other levels I learned when I was doing the speed run. And I could do the whole level without using any of the birds. And I would just damage boost in certain areas and just drop really fast mm. and just move out of the way of the bees. But that was like February, I think. I don't remember those strats. No, that was a minute ago. Yeah. It feels like it wasn't, but like it was. Why did you jump? I didn't right think he would the walk all line. the way. He no, kept going. No, sir. You walked right into it. Like you I jumped, didn't walk anywhere. You jumped, I was you on a bird. Jumped into his arms, and by arms I mean spikes. <laughs> Charlie says, I just introduce myself and say that my memory is bad and I won't remember someone's name in 20 minutes. Yeah, that's And fair. Nora wonders if my chat is working. 
Well, I can see what you're saying, Inura. I said it like that because I I imagined it was whispers of thoughts from inside. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's a good strat to use for people, like, my memories. Mm. Yeah. I just apologize. I remember as a, a, you know, a kid and being in, like, uh, middle school and stuff like that, I used to just be like, oh, they're gonna know I don't remember their name, and now I'm just like, oh, hey. Yeah, that was so, I like, terrifying for up. me when I was yeah. younger. Because I just, I would try so hard, you know, just using, uh, you know, different uh, like nouns or whatever, like yeah. he or she or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dude, that was so cool. <laughs> yep, I totally remember your oh, name. Oh, want to know one of my strats when I was um when I was working one of my first jobs in high school. Even though we all wore name tags, you would think I would remember remember people's names, but I just couldn't, and I was lazy. I think was the other point. <laughs> you know, I was going to school. I was working at a movie theater, so I never had any time off because new movies come out every single weekend. Oh my goodness. Spider-Man, Shrek, and uh -huh. Pirates all at the same time, yeah. wasn't it? That, that was, was, the that worst. was our, my first weekend, really. Yeah. But yeah, uh, what was it? So what I would do was I would give people nicknames. And I still kind of do that, but not to the immature level that I did it when I was younger. Like, when I was younger, I would be like, I saw you eating applesauce, your name's applesauce now, what's up? <laughs> like, now I actually try and do it in an endearing way. But with clients, obviously, I have to use their name, because, you know, that'd be rude as a counselor to not use my <laughs> clients' names. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, you know, different methods. Nura says, on shoddy Wi-Fi right now, chat wouldn't work earlier. I just tell people straight up, I remember faces better than names. That's what I do now, too. I'm like, I'm sorry, I just, I remember names way better. Because my, my partner at my job, she will say a client's name to me, and I'm just like, look, if their file is not right in front of me, I have no idea who you're talking about, because I don't remember their names. I know their faces. I know every detail about them that's, you know, important to the case. I do not. <laughs> yeah, all. maybe I should work on uh, how I do it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time that I've been uh, talking to people recently and I don't remember who they are, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Oh, God. <laughs> like, that's just how I go about it. Oh, that would hurt me so bad if someone like, was like, don't you remember oh, we did such and such together? Uh, I remember uh, doing that event, but... <laughs> Did, did we play a game together? Yeah, we played Smash Brothers together. I was oh, at the tournament. Bro, you knocked me out of the tournament. Uh, uh, were you Captain Falcon? No, I was Fox! <laughs> Thanks, I'm how sorry. could you? <laughs> I don't remember. Charlie says, I mean, apparently... Or I apparently didn't remember you playing DKC3, thing. <laughs> yep, Nora says yep. that's just rude. That is so very rude. rude. Thanks. It's a very rude method. I don't remember. Your I'm just being honest. <laughs> I don't remember. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're the wrong one. Maybe they think we were friends and we hung out. You know? Not Vinks. Vinks is a pretty unique name. It is pretty unique. It's like when I introduce myself as Gypsy, most people are not going to forget that. Yeah, they're that's gonna, fair. Well, no, no. Because I have been called very interesting names throughout high school, like through school. I've been called Egypt. <laughs> Egypt? Egypt. I've been called, um, ooh, what else? Danny. Danny? Where did that come from? Uh, because there was a girl who looked, mm, by looked, I mean she was similar skin tone as I was, mm -hmm. and she was in the same oh, class. Oh, was her name Danny? Her name was Danny, and so they, for some reason, mixed us together. I've been called, uh, Senpai. <laughs> Obviously not senpai. Yeah, you're not but, senpai. You know, there there are times where I look at pictures of me and senpai, and I can't tell who is who. Yeah, uh, yeah, y'all two do look very this? similar. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Katrolia says, "I'm gonna ask, but don't answer fully because." That's Yo, legit. There, when we were younger, Gypsy, uh, there's pictures of the two of us. I can't tell which one. Yo, for real, me, me too. You. There's a picture of me and you. Because like I look right so androgynous, like yes, as a kid. You, you, really did but we were both wearing um durex yep because yep. we had our hair braided and we're right next to each other and Vegas, i promise you i can't tell <laughs> yeah no i have no <laughs> idea like, man wait a second like either this means you were very beautiful Vegas, or <laughs> i was very beautiful very beautiful <laughs> or <laughs> i had some 
growing to do, <laughs> let's say. I mean, because it's just, that's how you are as kids, right? You don't have these, like, broad shoulders at that age and, like, just other defining characteristics. They're not there. Yeah. So. Okay, so Trolley says, I'm gonna ask, don't, but don't answer fully but, because that's not logical to do. Does it, anyone actually call you Banks when you're not online? Almost everyone. Almost? Almost everyone. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Like, um, to be fair, that's just kind of how I lived my life for a good three or four years. Like, it, um, because it's like, it was a mixture of things, right? I lived in a cosmopolitan, so in that area you had people of, like, all sorts of different walk, uh, walks of life. So, like, you have, like, the most absurd names you've never heard before. So, if I said, my name's Vanks, it wasn't second guess. They are just like, oh, okay, that's an interesting name. And that would just be that. And that's how almost everyone knew me, and when I came back to the U.S., I just kind of kept that going. Yeah. Nora says, that's dope. I'm working on getting people to call me a Nora in the life. Yeah, see, I, I just, I, I like my name too much. <laughs> well, yeah, hmm, I wonder why. I mean, it's pretty awesome. That's a pretty good name. It's a pretty good name. You know, I, was... I, I wouldn't be mad. I mean, there are... No. You would think, like, in elementary school and stuff like that, when I would get teased for it, you would think I would hate it, but I didn't even mm -hmm. hate it then, you know, when kids would be like, Can you tell my future? I'd be like, No, I can't. You have none. <laughs> ah, you know? no! That's... No! That's too much! <laughs> I'm sorry. They only... They were just... They're little kids! <laughs> yeah, They're not ready for that level! You're too advanced! <laughs> I didn't mean to joke. Poor start Jimmy! It, okay? <laughs> Jimmy's not ready! <laughs> I didn't mean to Joe Star though, but like <laughs> they hurt my feelings. So Yo man, but you you gotta slay him like that. <laughs> yes. Yes I do. Oh Jimmy. Oh poor Jimmy. R.I.P. because I mean he didn't have He's to done! Be He's all done now. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. I like me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's how you can tell we're family. Cause right? like I have the same phrase, man. You know, you just you have a real good moment. Yeah. Oh, I really like me. Yes. I'm such a great person. Uh, mm, uh, me. <laughs> Jimmy having existential crisis at five. Exactly right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's not ready for that. She's too advanced. You can't be slaying children! <laughs> He's a child! What about me being a child? Does that not matter? No! You just slayed him! You've shown that you're above that level! He wasn't ready, man. He's coming at you like with the, well, your mom uses a Cheerio as a hula hoop, and you know, you gotta go do all that. Like, yep. come on. Yep. He wasn't, he wasn't ready. It was, he wasn't, but this, that was the moment I learned that I was good at burning people. <laughs> I was the best. That was the first time I said it. I'm the best. <laughs> it's never stopped since. Jimmy oh, took a man. wrong turn and was punished. <laughs> Yo, man, you know, that's just how it is, right? Like, you'll just be playing with, like, other kids. You think you're playing at that kid level, and they're like, nah, 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 nah. We ain't playing that game. Nah, nah, nah. You know, you can go take Barney the Dinosaur somewhere else. <laughs> Yo, I loved Barney. Don't. Okay? <laughs> I love Barney. Barney's my jam. Yo, Barney, Barney was good people. Barney told me he loved me and I needed that sometimes, okay? <laughs> sometimes I just needed to hear that I was loved. That's fair. That is completely fair. What about Chucky, though? Chuck Cheese? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. <laughs> I almost said something that wasn't family-friendly. <laughs> no, no, no. This is family-friendly. <laughs> yeah. Was not a fan of the old Chuck E. Cheese. I, you know, to this day, I'm still uncomfortable in, around people who are wearing like uh, suits. Yeah. Like, that. like um, when I take my kids to go see the Easter Bunny in like the mall, mm -hmm. I'm not about it. Like I'm not a fan. Fair enough. I don't really like to do it, but I will. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's fair. Not about it. I mean, um, I would say I'm still scared of heights to a degree. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, like, it was, like, it would destroy me. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I've, you know, I kind of had to get over that with the whole flying on planes thing. Yeah. I just, you know, I just come to accept it. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm on this plane. Anything could happen and I have no control. I just have to accept that. Accept it is this. what it is. This, is. this is my life. 
Charlie says Chucky. That's not the Chucky I thought you were talking about. See, I had to double check with Charlie's because I was like, wait, which Chucky are we talking about? No, 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 then. Because, like, it, like, I'm referring to Gypsy. I knew she was going to figure yeah, it I out. Yeah, I figured it out. I got it. I was like, no, nah, I was not. A, I know he, uh, Binks knows that I was not a fan of Chuck E. Cheese, which is weird. I just, I, I would cry when we would go to Chuck E. Cheese, and we went quite often. But I would cry anytime Chucky came out to, you know, give kids hugs and high fives. I would freak I out. I mean, they're right to the, the, like, the play place area and I would hide in there so that way I didn't have to and I remember one of my our mom's friends she forced me to hug Chucky because she was like this is ridiculous you're too old for that I was like five yeah at the time and she was like you need you you're gonna hug him because I was hiding under the table because I was scared and she forced me to give him a hug and I'm just crying in it and it was a traumatic experience that I still remember yeah no you man know, you remember the traumatic later, things you do and D-Train says no, D Train knows exactly what Gypsy was gonna say. Bah, ha, ha. Yes, but I didn't say it because I'm an adult and I can handle myself. <laughs> That's very good. Yes, I'm mature. Yeah, we got auto mod for those that uh, <laughs> aren't quite as strong. Yeah, but you know, auto mod can't touch me. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, and uh, Nora says Chucky freaked me out for a little bit too, right? I mean, there's got to be some, you know, some, like, thing there that makes these kids not enjoy it. Because it's like, look at Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, they made that as a yeah, horror franchise, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and people can connect with that so much. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, I don't get it, but millions oh, of people I, do. Millions do, so there's something going on. I, I don't like horror or scary things, like games, movies, none of that. Mm -hmm. So, to play Five Nights at Freddy, I would have to be paid absurd amounts of money <laughs> because I may have nightmares for a good solid month or two afterwards. Mm. And, by, and you know, I'll have to give myself counseling. I don't know, for me, there's some experiences I just, I'm not down for. It. I was a fool with Sonic 06, man. <laughs> Still having nightmares. <laughs> D-Train, or Catrullia says, Part of being an adult is for not cuss cursing, cussing when you really want to. I know, right? And D-Train says, this is true, but knowing you, I heard your words in my head. <laughs> D-Train, you know me too well. You know me way too well. <laughs> D-Train has also listened to me, you know, just go in. <laughs> you know, unfiltered. Some would say. Oh, there's so many eggs, I'm just one monkey! <laughs> Yo! Notton with the tier 2 sub uh, 12 snap. months in a row yeah, with the get good. Yo, we got this, Notton. Don't you worry, man. Thank you so that much. The sub was for the monkey. Yo, I appreciate it, dude. I really do. Okay. <laughs> When's the Silver and Shadow playthrough? Never. <laughs> That's when it is. Yeah, I was a fool. Ah, oh! Chat never told me what they thought about Little Dragon Cafe. I'm hurt. I oh yeah, like does an anyone ago. know what Little Dragon Cafe is? Is there anyone in chat that does? Because I can help you out. Nah says wear the custom sub badges. <laughs> Yo, I do need the custom sub badges. I just, I can't decide on what I want is what the problem is. If I could decide on what I wanted, it'd be very easy to get an artist to do it for me because I I have several artists that I really enjoy their work and I would not mind uh, commissioning them to do it I just don't know what I want like do I want like little stars like from Mario do I want Pokemon badges because like the the oh, custom badge the emotes Pokemon badges, I yeah I do like that it just it can't be too advanced because the sprites are 18 by 18 they're really small Charlie says, wait, Little Dragon Cafe, I played a card game based on that last week. What? Hmm. <laughs> a card game based on dragons and cafes? Uh, Interesting. And Nura says, is it a cafe with little dragons walking? And uh, no. Tintock, but cute though. Very cute emote to go with it. Tintock, I'm telling you, makes shiny squirrels and golden trash cans. <laughs> No, that's not, no, that's it's just... It's easy! That's just easy. my tier 3 badge, man. Just in different colors. That's so lazy. And Catrullia says, no, I'm remember remembering wrong. 
it was another dragon thing. I mean, dragons are amazing, nonetheless. But Little Dragon Cafe is uh, made by the same creator that made the original Harvest Moon. I'm talking like uh, Story of Seasons, not this uh not not sumi's new stuff they be putting out you know the, <laughs> the minecraft the stuff. minecraft harvest moon um but essentially the backstory to the game is you and you can play as a girl or a boy and you have a brother or sister depending on what you know when you pick and your mom for some reason she runs a cafe in thing and you can go like hunting for ingredients you grow them but then you also can go and like get you know kill monsters and stuff to get meat and stuff like that she falls into like a sleep like death like maleficent something's going on with yeah that. some sort of curse i guess yeah and so a wizard shows up and somewhere an egg comes into play and you get a dragon and you have to raise that dragon while running the cafe and you know you're like only like 10 but you know as as uh, far as pokemon logic goes you're an adult and so <laughs> <laughs> so you're running the cafe and you're taking care of the dragon and it just it looks very cute and I'm just, I'm a huge fan of uh, Story of Seasons, Harvest Moon. And so I want to, one, just enjoy that, but also put my money to support more games like that coming Oh out. yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm really just, looking forward adorable. to giving it a try as mm -hmm. well. Because I mean, I streamed um, uh, Stardew Valley yes, yes. for a while when that first came out back in, uh, what was that, 2016? Mm-hmm. I, I was streaming that for a while, but um, not a lot of people showed up to the stream. I was in college more seriously, so I was like, I'm gonna back out for a little bit. <laughs> I think like, I know, um, who was it? Doomsday would show up in stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think Doomsday is here tonight. No. Let's see. So, Nura says, different water type Pokemon heads, uh, easy peasy, or e z p. Also, just different water type Pokemon. Um, I could do so, like Squirtle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meryl, stuff like that. And then Nur says, This sounds like you'll like Battle Chef Br Brigade Gypsy. What's that game? If it's cool, I'll enjoy it. I think it's some sort of RPG, maybe, Ooh. where you also like cook food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, I've heard that it's popular, but I don't actually know anything about it for real. I've for never real. heard of that. I'll have to look it up because I, I do need some games. And Nura, uh, wait, not Nura. Dems is hosting for four vid viewers, by the way. Oh, they're hosting me again? That's uh -huh. cool. And Controlia says, the game I was thinking of was T-Dragon Society. It was a card game based on a book series. And when I say based on, I mean it has similar art and the title is the same. <laughs> <laughs> and Na says, also, why is there no face cam tonight? Uh, I am feeling slightly <laughs> under the weather, so I decided just not to do a face cam. See, everybody's like, they're missing, they're missing your face. Where is Vinks? Where is his beautiful self? His beautiful self. So beautiful. But yeah, nah, man, it's all about my mannerisms and my gestures, man. It really sells the enthusiasm. Don't kill me. Also, the salt look you get on your face. <laughs> I have no salt. What are you talking about? Ugh. Never salty. I only just succeed in everything I do all the time. Oh, they'd be using your best, uh... <sighs> That's a dumb name. Yeah, like I refuse to read that. Whenever I see that, I just read Banks. Yep. Notice I didn't read. <laughs> yep, well played. I caught on to that last time. Nice. Like I'm intelligent or something. Yo. EGWP. Right? Dot com. <laughs> what? I don't know. Seemed It'd be a good site, I it think. Would, you know? You know, ggwp.com, and it'd just be like a montage of just, you know, being really good. Let's see, Petrolius, Banks or Gypsy, did either of you play Tulip? It was published by GameStop, and, and it's by Natsumi, and it's a kissing game. You have to practice kissing different things and people so you can kiss the girl you <laughs> I have never heard of that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That, that... what? So it was... GameStop published it? Yeah, I didn't know GameStop published games. Me neither. And I also am not fond of games that Natsume makes. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing is, I thought I loved Natsume. Like, I used to go on their, like, website because I was so passionate about Harvest Moon because the first one I ever played was um, Friends of Mineral Town for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, such a good game. So amazing. And I got really, really hooked on it. 
And then I would, um, you know, I wanted all of them. The next one I got was uh, the GameCube version, A uh, Wonderful Life, you know, and just continued. I to the right now, I think I own almost every single top or one that was ever made, every Harvest Moon that was ever made, except I don't have the Super Nintendo one. I saw it at an anime convention once, but it was $105, and you know, I ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah, $105 is kind of a lot for a. For an old game. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, I, I, I like Natsumi, but once I played their, uh, Harvest Moon with quotations, you guys can't see them, but, uh, Hometown Story, which seemed a lot similar to what Little Dragon Cafe seems to be, that game was, like, the worst thing I had ever played, and so I was shocked and confused. But then I still didn't know about the whole uh, story of seasons yet. I didn't know about that, and that, you know, Natsumi was breaking off, and you know, developers were breaking apart. And so I tried to play. Um, what was it? It was the some DS version that Harvest Moon put out, and it was um, Minecraft essentially. Uh, and you start in winter. Like usually every <laughs> Harvest Moon game, you always start in spring. So yeah, I was like, yeah. This is nah, nah. Ugh. Yeah, it's just Natsume doesn't know how to make Harvest Moon games. No. They don't know. Uh, they're just like, you You like, cut down wood and you grow crops. <laughs> That's yeah, because like most of the games on their website, wasn't it like fishing games? Yeah, most of them are fishing hunting games on Natsume's website. Yeah. yeah. No, they definitely are. I think their thing, I think one of the best parts of Harvest Moon, like the original, like when I say Harvest Moon, you know what I mean. I mean like the good ones, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, was not just the farming aspect that was really fun, because obviously I'm not going to play farm uh, simulator. That's that's not <laughs> attractive to me. It was the storyline and it was also getting the know the villagers, getting to work on the relationships there, wooing the girl or boy you liked. That was what I liked a lot. Yeah, yeah, that no, was that was too. really cool. I really mm -hmm. liked that. Oh, yeah. But, uh, anyways, and there's a game, or so the, the brigade game, where you're trying to be a top chef. It's kind of like an action RPG when you hunt for meat vegetables to cook with, but you, when you cook, it turns into a puzzle game. Oh! That's pretty cool. That sounds pretty good. And Nura also said GameStop publishing games to save their time business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Petralius. Yeah, my sister got this for the same reason. She loves Harvest Moon, so she tried this game, and, well, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game. Uh, Charlissa says it was a quite a while, or it was a while ago when it happened. It was poor design. Yeah, yeah no, man. Because, yeah, what happened between Natsume and, uh, I think it's Xseed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Xseed's the other yeah. publisher. Like, essentially, Xseed, they did all the publishing for the Harvest Moon series in Japan, mm -hmm. and they made the games. Right. But when it came to uh, like localizing it to the US, it was a lot easier to hand the game over to another publisher and have them handle that. And that's what Natsume was doing. But um, Natsume, again, because they did all the English side of the business, they had the trademark for the Harvest Moon name. Mm -hmm. So in Japan, the name hasn't changed. It's mm -hmm. like a farmer's life or something or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's still that same name. Like those games kept coming out. They didn't stop. It's only over here in the US where we have that disconnect because Natsume owns the name. So when uh, XC, now that they're doing the publishing, because they're, you know, a much bigger company than what they used to be, and they're like, we can handle, you know, localizing those games ourselves, they don't have the trademark. So while the game's the same name in Japan, in America, it's now a story of seasons. Yep. You know, because I was surprised when I saw the first story of seasons that was coming out, uh, Banks told me about it, and he was like, you should get this game, it looks really good. And I was like, what is it? And he was like, it looks like Harvest Moon. And I was like, well, Harvest Moon is. This is before I knew Harvest Moon had, you know, what, you know, the history behind it. And so I'm playing it and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, what? This is the best game ever. And then we, Banks had told me about all of this stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right. And, uh, Stunfisk? Yo, how you doing, Stunfisk? Hello. And Controlia says, I have learned ask this information along to my sister. Yes, because seriously, like, um, I think the most recent Harvest Moon that uh, Natsumi tried to put out was a, um, 
uh, Light of Hope, and it, it was literally a mobile game that they were like, JK, let's put it out for the PC. And it's horrible. It is Yeah, horrible. Natsume, they're just, they're not good designers. No. They're not making good decisions. They're just no. trying to make money with the name. That's yeah, all it that's is. that's really all they're doing. They're trying to do it as many times before they can figure out that, you know, everyone has figured out. <laughs> yep, it's yep. Not harvest they're just more. milking as much money out of that name as they can before they just, you know, that put it into the ground. <laughs> okay, so Stunfish says, I need, or Fisk says, I need help. I would like to add more games to NES Classic, but don't know what's, what good NES games there are. Hmm, good NES games. That's really not my console, but, uh... Do you have all the Mega Mans? All, like, six of them? Because that's where I would start. Right. Um, Blaster Master, I think, is also a really good uh, Nintendo game. Uh, let's see, what else? McKids? I know it sounds funny because it's, like, it's a McDonald's game, but it's actually really well done, which is exceptionally rare for that time period. Um... Anything else? Really good NES games. I'm sure there's some people in chat that also have some good ideas. They want to throw those out there. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mostly just played Mega Man. That's what I was into. Oh man, there's this really good shoot 'em up game where you also can transform into an android. It's very like it's slash shoot 'em up slash Metroid slash Zelda. I can't remember the name though. I'm sorry. It, it never came out in the U.S. Which is a terrible, terrible shame. McDonald's game? Yeah, yeah, the McKids. The McKids game is really good. Yes, yes, yes. Most licensed games are trash, which is why I, you know, noted the exception. It is the same way on the Super Nintendo, too. Heck, it's the same now. <laughs> like, on, you know, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, a lot of licensed games are trash. Because they're just like, hey, you know, let's, uh... It's the same thing with the whole Harvest Moon thing we were just talking about. They just use the name. Yep. Like, kids love Spider-Man, and they put, like, no work into it. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah, they're like, it sells itself. But yeah, there are exceptions. Like, uh, Cool Spot, I would argue, is a good licensed game, even though it's, like, for 7-Up. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Cool Spot was good. It was such a cute game. Yeah, they did a speedrun of it at GDQ. Oh, it was it? really impressive. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, McKids on regular Nintendo is actually really good. Has very interesting mechanics, mm -hmm. really cool ideas. The storyline makes no sense, but if you're just trying to play a fun video game. Play Evo. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Evo's really good, but that's, uh, oh, Super SNES Nintendo. Oh, SNES. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so tough, because I just, I don't play, uh, regular Nintendo. Like, I had one when I was, like, three years old, and, like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So. I mostly played Super Nintendo, because you Mm -hmm. was three, I was one. <laughs> yup! So... <laughs> can't really... Spy vs. Spy? Yeah, I've, I've heard that's good, but I've never played it myself. Oh, River City Ransom! Yes! Oh, dude! If you like beat-em-ups, River City Ransom, in my opinion, like, the best beat-em-up. Because it's like, not only are you just, you know, going from screen to screen, defeating different enemies, um, you can use different weapons, the different weapons actually have like different properties versus a lot of games where it's just kind of you just whack them. Um, there's also abilities you can learn in the game. Um, you, it's effectively, it's like a beat em up RPG because you can learn abilities, you can get higher HP, you can become stronger just by eating things. Really, really cool. Great suggestion. <laughs> I would disagree on Battletoads. I think that game is garbage. Right? This is a garbage game, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna go lay down. Alright. Bye, chat. Yo, good night, Gypsy. Good Thanks for coming by. Of course. It's nice having you here. You know, I'm the best. <laughs> Gotta be the best. And let's see, um, you do have all the games originally packaged with the NES Classic? Got you. That would make sense. I never got the NES Classic, so I don't actually know what all those games are. I assume it's like Zelda, Mario. You know, like, the main stuff. Metroid as well, I would guess. Oh, did they have Donkey Kong on there? Oh, I love, like, the original Donkey Kong on, like, Nintendo. Oh, man. Such a good game. IMO. Battletoads was NES. Yes, I did play Battletoads on the NES. The first time I ever played Battletoads was at an anime convention. And yeah, someone just had a regular Nintendo there. And actually, no, it wasn't a Nintendo. 
it was a Famicom, and yeah, they had Battletoads for it, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> this game is weird, but there was a lot of games there, so I didn't spend too much time with it. I didn't try Battletoads again until, like, what was it, 2015, 2014? Something around that era. And yeah, it's just, oh my goodness, like, some of the early levels aren't as bad, but the further you get in, the dumber the game gets, in my opinion. There's just a lot of things that just don't have any sort of, like, smart design to them, in my opinion. I know you'll always hear that from, like, a lot of YouTubers and, like, Twitch streamers or whatever, but if it's- if it means anything to you, I did actually study level design at a school, so there is that. I mean, that doesn't automatically prove my prowess, I just wanna... <laughs> ...let you know that it's, it's not- it's not from nowhere. Yo, Pac-Man? Oh, is Pac-Man on there? Oh, that's good. And yo, Zap, saying what up, Donk? Yo. Um... Bees? There's lots of bees. <laughs> There's that. But yo, how you doing? How you doing, Zap? I'm doing alright myself, just trying to beat this video game. But I'm just really impatient and reading chat at the same time never helps. Uh, Nurse says, imagine the NES Classic is powerful enough to even throw some GBA games on there? I have no idea. <laughs> you tell me. Is that like a thing? Thinks it's biased, he doesn't like Toads? No, it has nothing to do with Toads. Like, I like the Battle Toads. I used to watch their cartoon when I was a kid. Yeah, I would watch the Battle Toads cartoon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Street Sharks. I was into all of that stuff, man. Is this my first playthrough? Not so much. Um, I played this game a lot when I was a little kid. Um, I did a speed run of this game. Like, I did the 12-hour challenge trying to, like, you know, learn some basic stuff so I could just do a run. And I did do that. I was in a race. I didn't come in last place. I can't remember what my time was. But yeah, I think I came... I was like third or fourth or something. Didn't It didn't place last, though. We take those. But uh, yeah, that was months ago, and I've forgotten all my routing. I've forgotten, like, just a lot about the game. I don't play this game that regularly. Like, me playing this game twice in the same year is actually pretty, pretty interesting. All the get good is gone. Yeah, I don't remember, man. I honestly just don't remember all the things that I was doing before. Um, also, to be fair, like, there's different levels of focus that I'll give a game while I'm streaming. Like, if I'm really engaged in chat, then, like, I might just walk right into something because I'm not really focused on the game. It just kind of depends. The more focused I am, the easier <laughs> the game would be, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's bees here. I can hear them, but where are they at? Uh-oh. Is that Kremlin going to kill me all the way to a game over? Which Kremlin? Which one? I remember dying to bees. Let's try not to die to all the bees. Yeah. Ugh, jeesh. The more, like, chat, like, chills out, the less I'm talking, <laughs> the easier it becomes. And that's not just Donkey Kong, that's all games. Even games I know, like, really well that I can, like, beat, you know, with, like, one hand. Like, non-exaggeration. Like, there are games I can beat with one hand. But, you know, if I'm really focusing on chat, I'll be making a lot of mistakes, I promise you. No, not my lives! Not my lives, you jerk! Jerk. Okay, where's the where's the balloons? No balloons? Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's more fun to troll me, that's fair. Yeah, we're almost we're almost there, man. We're almost at the ends. We're really close to good old K roll. It's not King K. Roll. He calls himself something else in this game. I just don't remember what it is. I'm really bad. Yo, it will be fine, Catrolius. He's a captain? Oh, he's Captain K. Roll on this one? That makes sense. Still got that K in there. Alright, bees. 
They're gonna have to be my platforms. Nothing personal. Hardest level? Ah, uh, yeah, I've messed this up a lot. I thought I could skip one. I was like, I jump pretty high. I bet I could skip one of these. That's my last life, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a save. But I don't want to game over and lose all my progress. That would be uh, less than ideal. All right. Thanks for that, I'll just hop on out of college then. All right, let's try that again with more success. Why does he have to be on the stairs? Like, he could not do that, and that would be way cooler. Yo, get bodied, get bodied! King Captain Doctor. Yo, I gotta be the Doctor. Very important. Yo, I'm so glad K. Rool's coming back into Smash Brothers, dude. I really hope it's like this, you know, the new, like, solid return of King K. Rool. And we'll get another Donkey Kong game, and he'll be in it. Oh, it'd be so, so cool. I mean, honestly, I still need to play the Returns games. Like, I've played, I've played both of them. Uh, I have technically played both, but like, the first one, Returns, I've probably played, like, maybe the first two or three worlds, but I come nowhere near to, like, beating the game. And then with, um, the other one, Tropical Freeze, I've played maybe three levels. Which is a real shame, because I think it's a good game, I've just never taken the time to, like, play it. I think I would enjoy it a lot. I mean, there's a Switch version with a new funky mode! How did the Zangetsu only run go? Ah, oh, it went good, man! I, uh, went through everything pretty smoothly. There were, like, a couple of jumps here and there that kind of messed me up. But, uh, yeah, didn't really have any trouble on any of the bosses except for, like, the final boss. That one took me a few tries. But it was only, like, literally, like, maybe four or five tries. And then we were through. So that was good. It was a lot of fun. I really liked the, uh, Zengatsu moves and, uh, what was that game called? Bloodstained Curse of the Moon? Very cool game. Very good. I mean, I knew as soon as it said it was being developed by NT Creates that I was going to enjoy it. I love their games, man. Which is still a shame I have yet to play Azure Striker Gunvolt. I want to play that game so bad. I just haven't, like, done it yet. <laughs> I don't know. I always have, like, certain priorities I'll give games. And I'm like, oh, I should play this one now, and I should play that one. And yeah, today I was just in a Castlevania and Donkey Kong mood because of that direct, man. I'm too excited. The returns games are hard. The difficulty just spikes. Well, that's good. Right, I'm gonna take that save again since I, uh, you know, don't have a lot of lives. This one, this squitter section was longer. Eh? Got me, man. I'm just playing what's in front of me. Interesting. For some reason, I had a lot of trouble on the Umbrella Lady stage. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Nah, her stage is pretty tough. I died to her myself, like, twice. Because, like, I would get to the fight, and I would have, like, two pips of HP. It was no good. Feels so bad, man. This music is so good! I didn't get my hair twirl! <laughs> well, that's fine. Oh, that's a lot of bees. And perfect timing! 10 out of 10! How do you do it, Binks? How do you do it? How do you time things so perfectly? Uh, Nero was saying the room before her with the flying bats 
and guys throwing their hammers just kept hitting me. Yeah, man, I would take so much damage there. Like, they wouldn't kill me, but then I would get to the boss and I'd have no HP, and I'd mess up, like, once, and I'd die, because I had no HP getting to her. Oh, man, I didn't want to face right. <laughs> this level's not looking too good for me. Alright, we'll just, we'll just focus a little bit, that's all, that's all. It's so easy. Alright, so far so good. Yeah, I can beat me. And we're gone. Nice try, bees. You thought you could stop me. But you were wrong. Do I just go straight up? Does anything stop me? No? Okay. What? Ah, jeez, man. Okay, we made it to the halfway point. That's good. I don't know if I have any other lives, though. I think I'm still on zero. Oh, man. But this is hard, and I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. It's gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I'm trying to remember, like, there's- I know there's, like, little shortcuts here and there, man, but I don't remember anything, so I'm just doing it as I see it. Oh, wow, I barely hit that B in time. Yo, follow the bananas. The bananas will lead you the right way. there. Oh, I did it? I did it first try? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, man. I thought I was doomed. Oh, oh, I can save right before the boss? <laughs> One save for me, please. I forgot there was a save point in this, but I thought the last save point was in the last world. I got the race. Yo, man. I can't believe I did that. The race music's good. It is. Nurse says, well, that's all for me. Gotta get some rest, because I'm gonna be stuck on a long 14, 16 hour road trip. Yo, rest in peace, man. Yo, take the switch with you. Wait, are you the one driving? Uh-oh. When do I throw this at him? There we go. That, that wasn't, that wasn't good enough. Yeah, let's, let's have Diddy do this. Alright, so I'm ready this time. Yeah, I gotta get a little closer. It's so cool he has this as his, uh, neutral B in, uh, Smash Brothers. I wonder if he's gonna get the variants. Like, the spiky balls and the, like, colored attacks. I mean, I doubt it, but it would be cool. Got him! Yeah, we're coming, DK. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> Yo, imagine if he could shoot his uh, neutral special that fast, dude. Yo, he'll be top tier easy. He had that. You're assuming, uh, K rolls down B is gonna be the counter? Yeah, that would make sense! Every single counter in the game is a down B. Wouldn't see why they would change that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his neutral B. The, uh... Crown throw is the side B, and the copter would be the up B. It, it just makes the most sense. 
Yeah, the only two I could see swapping would be the uh, gun and the uh, crown throw, but like he literally throws the crown to the side. It looks like a side throw. Or a side B, I mean. Uh oh. <laughs> Down B's transforming into Dixie. Oh, that'd be pretty silly. Ah, jeez. <laughs> well, it's just you, Dixie. I believe in you. You're a tough girl. You got this. Come on, come on. I really don't like her throw. The angle, man. Ah, purple now, huh? Oh, that was close. That was really close. He almost got me. No! Ah, oh, man. Is that it? Is that the last one? Yo, there we go! We did it, guys! Got him! Yo, 2 hours 20 minutes, that's not too bad. <laughs> hmm. Those sharks don't look very nice. Maybe the crown throw will be a smash? Nah. There's very few characters that have uh, projectiles as normal attacks. Uh, Jacob says, uh, later, BitCup, you should stream more often. <laughs> You're better than that Mega Man fan. What? And, uh, Catrilli says, did you have a timer going? Yes, I did have a timer. Um, not one that was on stream, because it's, like, not live split, and I didn't know how I could, like, put it on there and it looked good. But, yeah, 2.20. I didn't see what the seconds were, but, yeah, it was 2.20. Oh, man. But yo, that'll, that'll be me for tonight, guys. Yo, much love for coming by. I appreciate it. Um, Anura says, I actually didn't realize we were at the end anyways. <laughs> it's all good, man. You must be tired. Get that sleep. It's good for you. But yeah, that is Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll be doing that at 7.